take an application through proper channel. Matter is relating to dearness allowance. DA is legal right, fundamental right. As per the decision of the division. But my grievance is, Apex code is pending 10th April. No decision has already been given. Why the DNS allowance and state employees call for a strike? This is not support for... Actually, the letter was circulated by the High Court Employees Association. In that letter, they have not, they have not mentioned about the DA issue as a primary issue. They are mentioning about some statement made by... Lordship, I am not entered into the DA. Just I have ob objection only for... No, that I have, we have dealt with in the administrative, have administrative side so far as the High Court is concerned. Now, I have served upon all the responses, Lordship, according to... Tomorrow, to first case. Lordship. But I am paying for uh, leave to file appeal while... To inform the ground pleader and... Uh, I will inform all. Inform all. But and may I pay to file appeal, my lord, without certificate copy, my lord? Date of, the for order. Leave, my lord. Date of the order. Date of the order, 23rd March, my lord. 23rd. Yes. Yes, yeah, my lord, kind leave to mention, my lord. The contempt application which I had mentioned yesterday, my lord, with the leave of this honorable court, we have filed it, my lord. Mm -hmm. Now we are file, making an application, my lord, before my lord's secretary, my lord, for assigning a bench, my lord. Yes. Because it needs utmost urgency, my lord. Definitely. I'm grateful, my lord. My prayer also to file the appeal matter without certificate copy. Date of the order? Date of 2nd February, my lord. File is not available, my lord. I have duly appeal, applied. 2nd February means uh, it's out of time. It, it is true, my lord, but file is not available. That's but why you, I... No, no. I, what happened to your uh, certificate copy? Certified copy, my lord. File was not sent down, my lord. That is the, in the department, my lord. You, you give the number, we'll verify. No, no, the repetition number, not the file. You write down a slip, we'll find out what happened to the, uh, why it is not uh, verified. Yes. My Lord, uh, regarding Ram Navami issue, my Lord, I have, uh, regarding the item number one on the violence on Ram Navami procession, my Lord, I have filed a similar application. My application be tagged with... Uh, uh, you will hear my this? Yes, my Lord. No, no, no. You wait, you wait, your matter is yet to be called. My Lord, matter is supposed to come no, your, tomorrow. The multiplicity is not required, sir. We will hear you. There are a lot of advocates who are will be heard in the matter. No, no, on that day, we mentioned the matter praying for you, Lord Shibli. My Lord, my, uh, my, we cannot have... permit 100 repetitions on the same cause of action. Already mm -hmm. one repetition is there. We have passed certain orders. Yesterday, supplementary affidavit has been filed. You wait, wait for your turn. We will hear you. Good. We will not entertain a fresh repetition. Mm -hmm. Shib, item number 761. Ah. This matter is pending before your issues. One day you please mention, sir, huh? for Lord, upgradation, Lord, inclusion. Huh? Lord, a uh, contempt application of the order passed by the Honorable the Chief Justice Mr. Prakash Sivastav and Justice Bharat Taj. Lord, you after, a letter to the Secretary. Yes, Lord, the, I, I will give a letter. It has to be assigned, Lord. Uh, yes, yes, so. they, every day it will be placed. Hmm? Don't it has to be before a bench of ja where Justice yes, Bharat yes, Taj yes. is parking. May have a Lordship's kind leave, my Lord. To mention, my lord, to upgrade one matter, my lord, one Monday, Monday. Much. Already we have collected 50 letters. Much of this. Oh, what to do? Appellate site, daily list, serial number one. I appear for the repetition. My lord, I appear for the union of it. I'll go to the union of it. <coughs> that report is ready, sir. Yes, report is ready, sir. Yes, my lord, I have my lord the reports. And yesterday they have filed a supplementary affidavit. Yes, yes. We are getting a file put in here. There are two supplementary affidavits. The one which we relied upon on the last occasion without getting it affirmed. Hmm. We have affirmed the same, got the pagination corrected, and not. They have already served upon the. Very good. Which is the first supplementary? The first one is the thicker one. Thicker one is the? The first one. So we will call it supplementary affidavit one. one. <laughs> SA one. Supplementary affidavit two. SA two. Not the 
supplementary affidavit 1 refers to the incident of 30th of march and 31st of uh, 30th of january uh, 30th of march and 31st of march and when the supplementary affidavit 2 refers to the rishida incident on 3rd of april 2023 I need to show to your lordship not the two incidents you know, which had strike. No, I think of... there is no dispute on that. Uh, all social media newspapers have extensively covered. There have been press statements given by important people on the issue. Is how best uh, AG has to tell how best you have planned to tackle the situation. Because from uh, the media, we learn that uh, Hanuman Jayanti procession is to take place. And you have made some new form, etc., which the uh, people who are organizing the procession have to fill up. But um, this is so what is required is prevention is better than cure. Lord Chips, absolutely right. So uh, I had occasion to deal with, I said the last time, this Ganesh Chaturthi uh, procession. That is, the idol is taken to the Bay of Bengal for immersion. So uh, a detailed SOP has been drawn. Uh, to my knowledge, sitting single, I have dealt with the same matter year after year, as well as in the division bench. To my knowledge, for the past eight to nine years, there has been no untoward incident, especially with the the, um, the route goes through very sensitive areas, like what has been mentioned here. But uh, if suppose the police force is inadequate, you are not able to deploy. Then you take the assistance of uh, some other force like a paramilitary force or something to assist the state police. After all, all we have to need ensure is the citizens' safety to be protected. In fact, yesterday, uh, there is a letter written by one of the judges who is in uh, RG has given that letter. Uh. He's an additional districts and sessions judge in Diamond Harbor. His, uh, he says that I want to inform, that is, he has written to the Rishra General. I want to inform you that the communal violence is going on in Rishra, and I, I reside with my family at so and so place, Serampur. But at present, I am posted in Diamond Harbor as additional districts and session judge. For the sake of my service, I reside at Diamond Harbor in the judicial quarters. Yesterday, I was present in my house, situated at Rishra, and communal violence started there. And thereafter, I requested the police station for getting help, but did not get any help from them. Even I tried to talk with the Deputy Commissioner of Police, IPS, with that mobile number so-and-so, but he paid no heed to my request and did not provide any kind of help. Antisocial elements are roaming on the street with armed, armed with swords, dagger, petrol bomb, and other dangerous weapons in my locality. And they pl plan to burn the house of the members of so and so. There is also Hanumanji, Hanumanji temple near my house. So they are also targeting the said temple, and there is every chance of spread of communal violence at the instance of antisocial persons. The law and order situation is out of control. I am now living at Diamond Harbor, very much worried about the safety and security of my family members, consisting of my wife, two sons, and a daughter. Uh, I am not getting any help from the local administration. In, uh, I humbly pray your honor to look into the matter and pass necessary order directing the local administration to provide police help or deploy armed police near my house to protect life of my family members. Now, what happens is, sir, all these judges are residing in that particular district. They have to go for work. And uh, your reports are, uh, you have said that so many arrests have been made. Obviously, those people will be produced before the court for remand or whatever it is. Then the, the surcharged atmosphere will also get into the court complex. So something needs to be done on this. At least these routes can be barricaded. Huh? And uh, in fact, what they used to plan there is, they used to have a peace march with mounted police. Uh, at least uh, five to six days before the, uh, the date on which the immersion takes place. So every day, morning and evening, 
just to reassure the public that we are here to take care of everything nothing untoward will happen something needs to some uh, what do you say uh, sort of solace or uh, they should feel that they are secure that's it you are making all arrangements see these people who are filling up the forms uh, do they give a declaration that if something anything goes wrong with any of their members at least one person should be responsible for that he can't come and say somebody entered it etc etc something needs to be done on this my lord the persons applying for permission mm. my lord they have to be my lord with my lord in the procession right through right and my lord they should take the response they'll be the person responsible but does that form my lord the new one which has come out my lord the kolkata police that 27 conditions my lord mm. my lord i don't think my lord that that yeah, my lord yeah a jurat portion or a declaration can Correct. be there Correct. that uh, that uh, secretary of that committee or that club mm -hmm. yes, whichever is conducting the procession i declare that uh, i abide by the, all the other conditions and i take personal responsibility for any of the violations which are committed something like that and in fact uh, the routes also can be uh, so designated made as short as possible uh, so that uh, the religious sentiments are also protected at the same time the common man also is not inconvenienced that's the best you can do and you can think aloud also if suppose you need a further suppose there is a, uh, a natural disaster or like we had this amphan uh, cyclone so a national team will always come to assist That's the it. state team so there is a, if you feel that your deployment of uh, the state police because you can't uh, shift the entire state police to that district Correct. what will happen to the other districts so if there is going to be some shortage of hands uh, you can think aloud and uh, take a decision just to point out before your lordship not two documents not the steps taken by the state authorities not which were which have been proved to be inadequate if your lordship kindly have a look at page 24 of the first supplementary affidavit mm. and page 13 of the second supplementary affidavit page 24 yes this was dated 31st of march 2023 the day after the occurrence of the incident at howrah mm. whereas reports and request has been received from the additional director general and inspector general of police law and order west bengal with a memo number so and so dated 31st of march 2023 that in view of the recent events in some areas internet transmission and voice over internet telephony may be used for spreading rumors for unlawful activities in some areas within the jurisdiction of Howrah town, Asansol Durgapur police commissionerate and Barakpur police commissionerate. So there is always an apprehension of this being spread out. From this district to the other, other district. districts. And please have a look at page 13 of the second supplementary affidavit. Hmm. This is Commissioner of Police not imposing 144 on 4th of April 2023. Information indicates that as an aftermath of incident happened near Wellington, Jutmil and Shundha Bazar area, there is a possibility of mobilization of riotous mob at Rishra PS and Sirampur PS under Chandanagar Police Commissionerate on 4th of April 2023. And whereas it appears that the mobilization in every likelihood may cause serious breach of peace in areas under Rishra PS and Sirampur PS of Chandanagar Police Commissionerate. Whereas it is apprehended that agitators may carry the prohibited weapons, articles which are hazardous and that may become violent by trying to again forceful entry into the government establishment's offices by violating the law, which may result into affray and serious breach of peace by damaging government properties. And whereas I am satisfied that there is every reason to believe that agitators and disgruntled persons may attempt to create disorder and trouble in the area coming under the Rishra and Sirampur areas and may cause breach of peace, public tranquility, etc. There is sufficient ground for proceeding for which immediate prevention is required. Therefore, I so and so, on in exercise of the power conferred upon me under section 144 of the CRPC, do hereby prohibit the following inside the area of Rishra and Sirampur PS with effect from 8, 800 hours of 4th April 2023 till the normal return of the situation. No, this is for Rishra. No, these are all reasons to record a satisfaction that 144 needs to be because Supreme he Court. He apprehends. No, that's it. 
see uh, after that uh, supreme court decision what is that anna hazare oh, yes yes correct after that uh, uh, the honorable supreme court said that satisfaction should be manifest Reflected on the man. face of the order and well that's repeated in anuradha bhasin as well so that is it now sir orders are in place the only issue is how to enforce these orders how to ensure that these orders are scrupulously adhered to that's the only we we, we require nothing else so it's uh, of course it's a state uh, responsibility to ensure there's uh, no breach of peace but how to go about so actually the, this litigation should not be construed as uh, what do you say adversarial or correct correct my lord i am giving a political color or though the writ petitioner may be clear my lord my lord i my lord i could have but i didn't take the point and my lord i must tell your lordships in fact if that is going if the court feels so we can always discharge the petitioner and make mr yeah. somia muslim yes my lord as amicus curi and go ahead <laughs> yeah. with the matter my lord i am my lord i must tell your lordships my lord and my lord in all fairness my lord to the writ petitioner here my lord in a matter my lord where he my lord the writ petitioner wanted to go my lord to my lord these affected areas my lord on a letter being written by the commissioner my lord to him my lord he my lord withdrew the writ petition in all fairness my lord i said kindly make that request because my lord as political leaders my lord their duty is more than the normal citizen my lord to ensure my lord that there is and my lord i must say my lord that my lord uh, my lord he acceded to that request and immediately withdrew the writ petition saying one for in the newspaper there is some other person also says he is not going yes to... my lord uh, my lord persons who i know my lord they my lord they have also said my lord till 140 which is my lord a responsible my lord uh, uh, statement so my lord i my lord uh, uh, i'm grateful my lord that these statements are coming also from political leaders my lord which is important and my lord across my lord the political spectrum so that that is good my lord but in the meantime also there is my lord a bit of rabble rousing but my lord the police has to take care of it my lord your lordship suggested my lord uh, 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 my lord what we can do my lord with regard to my lord ensuring my lord that the chances of a flare up my lord is completely my lord uh, rooted out my lord my lord will your lordships my lord give me just i mean i'll address today itself my lord may i just uh make a few phone calls my lord and my lord get back to your lordships my lord in then pass my lord yes my lord if that uh, if your lordships permit that the yesterday my lord for the shipur area there has been reimposition of 144 my lord once again till 7th april it is better that way so that the police will be able to control actually in this procession no vehicles are permitted no my lord We are not have to walk. Oh, yes, my lord. No In cycles. fact, my lord, motorcycles were also my lord prohibited. But ah. we found my lord that motorcycles were also my lord. Ah. My lord. No, if the barricading can be done in such a way, like only pedestrians, like people yes. can walk through yeah. hmm, with the barricading. Obviously, the vehicles can't enter. Yeah. And uh, the designated route can be chosen in such a way that it can't give room for any okay. designated. Hmm, it can't give any room for. Uh, uh any chance of some disruption because what happens is normally uh in the uh, in this ganesh chaturthi also writ petition is filed by a political party and they will say that they are are the major organizers and they will give a plan or a route map and that the commissioner of police and the director general of police will examine and they will say no this cannot be done we will agree for this particular route and uh, uh, what happens is in that road as you find in this red road etc the barricading on both sides the entire road route will be barricaded all shops will be closed for probably 6 hours and the procession will reach uh, the marina beach and there uh, the police will have cranes lift the idol and do the immersion so up to that stage the organizers can come thereafter it's responsible of the um, uh the police as well as the coast guard everybody will be there and if it's a very big idol they will take it in a mechanized boat and take it in middle of the sea and do the mash so cranes are all stationed so that's how uh, it happens so i think that uh, designated route needs to be very very carefully see uh, if suppose the, all of them have to co 
congregate in one particular place. They can't be coming half a sad here and there. So if at all the procession has to take place, they need to assemble in a particular area and then take the procession, whatever celebration they want, and be done. Well, they can't come in through by lanes, ah, join yes, halfway. That's well, it. That's it. So the starting point so and the end point has to be common, common for all processions. Yes. And that's the best method of doing it. Otherwise, it's difficult. Because um, uh, they will, the crowd will be in the sort of a frenzy. You can't control. You can't. So the moment they start, some chanting will go on, etc., etc. The mood will get elevated. If some people will be in the elevated mood also. We don't know. And all those things will happen. We will pass over the matter. Yes, ma'am. And AG can give a note also, one page note or something like that. Yes, ma'am. Lord, on the repeated incidents in the recent past, including the order which has been annexed to the public interest litigation at page 31, and the subsequent attack on the Honorable Home Minister of Government of India on 25th February. Lord, there is serious apprehension in the, uh, in the <coughs> Home Ministry of Government of India. Well, uh, since the Honorable Home Minister was not protected, and the view taken by the earlier division bench is that the police authorities of West Bengal have concluded the inquiry by the report without investigating the matter in detail, and it was referred to CBI. Now, this I find in today's newspaper, some statements by the political leader, including the Chief Minister, in the statesman. That may aggravate the situation, that the responsibility has been shifted to the principal opposition party, but which has fallen from my lords, that my lords are aware on the interpretation of Article 257 and 355, read with 7th <coughs> Schedule, List 1, NT2, Capital A. The parliamentary forces can be deployed any time if your loss is so thing at any place, even without the consent. That is the law made by the parliament in the case of RPS. This is, that can be done at the request of the state government also, that can be done. It, it all, that, uh, your losses also can do this. Yes, yes, we yes. can, we can. Now that may, my lord, increase the confidence of the people if there is a rude march. And tomorrow there will not be a court. Friday is a holiday. Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. If something happens in between, Lord, that will be a serious concern. We'll do one thing. We'll uh, give, pass over the matter. Let uh, Advocate General discuss with the yes. concerned persons yes. Yes. and come back. Yes. Then we'll do it. Pass over. And copy of the report which is prepared, I'm told, maybe you will not give it to us. Lord Shiv, I want to make one submission in this matter. Hmm. Yes. In fact, uh, so so for for my, uh, done it uh, earlier in October, but there was a rather public interest in it. Item number. The incident was supported by an incident in Howdah. Because the matter was heard extensively, and there was a mandate by Lord given by the Honorable Division Bench, taking up the matter that the state, if it feels that the situation cannot be contained immediately, the position was set. Once the matter is taken up, I will take it out of that order also. You please, sir. Uh, yes. Uh, Lord Shivin, item number 55 is my item, Lord Shivin. On the last occasion, it was directed to be tagged. Lord Shivin, two, three things. Your Lord Shivin, it has fallen from your Lord Shivin. That state will try to find out the route for the procession, how it would be taken. Now, the problem is the mode of attack which we have seen in Howrah incident that throwing the stone from the rooftop of the building so there were the allegations, the report also may, may be, uh, that may be found that from the rooftop of the building, the stones were thrown on the uh, procession itself. So there is an element that it could be pre-planned, the entire thing, because 
uh, when the procession is religious in nature completely, that might not create any trouble. But the, when the procession is political and religious in nature mixed, then it is creating the trouble and uh, communalism is created. Now, lots of in my petition, writ petition, I have referred to one comment, but very by one of the very responsible person of the state, I don't want to make the name, but she has been made a party to this petition, that when she is making a comment that this particular community, if they are attacked by another particular community, which is again compared with a political party, and this has been instigated. Now, persons from that political stretcher, having holding the constitutional office, should not be allowed to make such a comment, which is politically enough to instigate this kind of problems. Lordship, there has to be at least one judicial request for all political parties, including the holders of the constitutional office. Because today the problem itself here shows that the state is not, the secular character of the state is not safe in the, in the hand of the present government in this state. So I made her a party in this, the stricture should be given. To those persons. Yours is item 55. Item 55, Lord Shri. Keep that file also along with this file. Anybody else wants to make a submission? Somebody mentioned he has filed a reputation, he's gone off. All right. Pass over. Mm. Yeah. What time we can call the matter? By 12 or so? 12 o'clock, my lord, if mm. your lordship's my lord. Mm. One hour you've got. Yes, my lord, I'll. Serial number two. Well, my matter, well, may I be here for? Hello. Hey, Hello, Mamla. Which one is the most important? Barota is not there. Barota is not there. Last Barota. Which which version? Yes. Yes, madam. It's my appeal, madam. I appear for madam the Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited. I beg to appear for the writ petition and respond. I am going to respond about three and four regional transport authority partner. Before taking your lordship to the documents, may I, in a nutshell, may I give your lordship, sir? So oh, there is an interim order. There is an interim order in this appeal. And uh, the appeal has to be heard. The appeal has to be heard. How, how long all of you are likely to take? I uh, shouldn't be more than my lord, half an hour. My lord. The same for me. For my submissions. Then we'll fix a date for the... Now... My lord, the thing is that, my lord, uh, it's a five-year contract, my lord. Uh, which this started is for the tanker trucks. Yes, tank trucks. Tank trucks. 
it started in 2018 and it is to expire in 2023 mallar so mallar uh, mallar that the honorable single judge also takes notice of the fact that uh, four years have gone by independency of the litigation mallar mallar uh, if at all mallar the date is fixed mallar if it may be a shorter date mallar how short is the question it was a uh, fixed today for taking up for final so it disposal. says at request of the learned counsel for the appellant appeal is adjourned list on 5th april interim order to continue and what was the relief you sought for in the writ petition mallar in the writ petition mallar uh, i had sought for mallar the interpretation of a, a clause in the tender hmm. which had given me a right to be treated preferentially it is not a case where i have not been allowed in the tender hmm. it is a case where i have not been preferentially allowed in the tender because according to them we are not state registered meaning not registered in the same state because this tender is of bihar yeah they wanted us to be registered in bihar our vehicle numbers stated nl meaning nagaland hmm. they said that if the number is nl you are not state registered hmm. our case was that the dto patna had uh, certified that we are registered in bihar and the dto being the authority under the motor vehicles act matlab mm. the oil company cannot uh, step into the shoes of the uh, uh, registering authority or the transport authority of bihar and say that you are not state registered so uh, that was the point no oh, no so wh- what is the state registered matlab mean? their their uh, tender term says that state registered tts meaning tank trucks will be given preferential treatment right. because matlab this tender the, your registration number of the vehicle is nagaland nagaland In, initial uh, registration is in nagaland mm. but we have applied for the registration in bihar mm. and before the date of matlab uh, the final date of tender and we have participated the bihar government the bihar transport department says that yes you are registered in bihar but they say that since your number is nl you will not be treated but as now, one issue sir now Uh, I have brought my vehicle from Chennai. Twelve hmm? months is allowed, my lord. It's a Tamil Nadu registration vehicle. I am flying the vehicle here. But after the amendment to the Motor Vehicles Act and the rules, now this re-registration concept is gone. Otherwise, within three months, I have to re-register it to West Bengal. Now, the, if suppose now because of the uh, what is it uh, called as one-time tax. earlier we have to either pay annual tax or uh, quarterly tax lifetime tax, tax. Huh? Lifetime, lifetime tax, tax. lifetime tax so therefore the tax is already collected so the re registration concept is gone and this vahan app is there you can track the vehicle wherever it is wherever in india even it goes under the sea they can track it so this loses that uh, the, the your condition needs to be interpreted in terms of the motor vehicles act yes but that is exactly my submission and that when at the time when this uh, this was considered the tender when he that, applied yes that's in 2018 mm. but then this possibly this amended rules had not come into force so it was as per the previous rules now there is a concept also of bharat registration so mm. that for for those who are, who has to go from one state to another mm. need not uh, apply keep, keep on applying for change in the registration mm. so that like the new bharat part. registration number bh number as now is being granted so that is to obviate the uh, the difficulties which a vehicle owner may face mallot for uh, having to apply so for according to you in 2018 when you invited the tender the vehicle had to be registered in the state no my clause in the tender is that state registered tank trucks would be given preference it's only a preference it's not that for other state registered tank trucks they shall not be entitled so the the, the tender condition was split into two clauses first part is two halves first part is state registered would be given preference now so far as the non state registered uh, registered tank trucks from different states are concerned if they are they are plying in existing contracts with the oil manufacturing companies meaning oil marketing companies i'm sorry meaning indian oil bharat petroleum or uh, hindustan, hindustan petroleum Britain. then if they have applied for registration in a new state from the erstwhile state along with the copy of that application and the uh, noc from the transferer state mm. their applications can be considered but there's a rider to it that it can only be considered if it is applying in an existing contract 
So if it is a case of a new tank truck, meaning thereby that they do not have any existing contract with any of the oil marketing companies, then my lord, the preference would be state registered. So preference would mean if two people are equal and yes, and uh, he stands to he has to be preferred. He has to be preferred if it's a Bihar registered. If it is not, then he but has. But if, if the transport authority say, let us assume, on the date of tender, uh, much prior to that, he has applied to the Bihar state. Yes. Please tra transfer my registration. The registering authority takes his own time. Yes. But all that he can do is he mention to you that, uh, sir, I have already made my application before the Bihar State Transport Department, and uh, they are ready to do the registration. But please consider my application under the preferential clause. Probably later on when you process the tender. In the interregnum, it it, it he, 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 yes. he, he says it, it has, it has so happened. It has so happened. And but in that, that new smart card which has been issued under the government of it's written government of Bihar. Malab, the smart card says issued by the Department of uh, Transport Bihar. in Bihar. In but Bihar. the number remains to be an L. Now, Malab, that number... Now, uh, on what date you applied for registration in Bihar? Malab, much prior to submission of the tender. Tender. And Malad, only one thing I... So on is, what date the Bihar uh, RTO... Has... Malab, this uh, Paras Malad came some, somewhere around August. And by then the tender was opened. By that time tender was opened and the LOA was so, issued in October. Uh, this registration should date back to his date of application. But Mala, there's another another it dates back to date of application. But there's another very important fact to be here, Mala, uh, uh, mentioned here, Mala. There was two petitioners in a different writ petition, simi absolutely similarly circumstance. Mala, the honorable single judge in that matter, Mala, had already allowed the petition while this remained pending. That order was placed before the honorable single judge in this matter. Honorable single just takes note of the fact that in that matter, the, the other concurrent bench has allowed the similar repetition petition and the oil company did not prefer an appeal from that order. Now, Malad, the another point in this appeal, uh, which I'll take as a defense is that, Malad, they being a state, Malad, they cannot take two different stance, Malad, once a point has been decided against them, be, merely because it is not in my repetition, petition, they cannot take a but different no, stance. What to do now? Two, two I am, I am alert. I am in. I am only. Now he says all the trucks have been allotted. Malad, that is that is that Malad, their you action. Have obtained an order of interim order. I I failed. Uh, I failed. So I failed. Appeal preferred. Right, appeal dismissed. Assume, assuming we dismiss his appeal, how will you implement this order? So Malad, Malad, if they are at fault, Malad, even by way of supernumerary Malad vacancy, no, no, they will have to allow me. Number one. That's number not two, the Malad, the honourable single judge records that since four years have passed. Probably I have, I have some remedy in damages also that liberty has been given to me. You can't have it both ways. Okay. Either you go before the civil court, claim damages, or you pursue your contract. So, Malad, in the, Malad, they will have to Malad, uh, Malad allow me because it's for their fault that I am out of business. They are saddling me with other neighboring states of Assam and Jharkhand, Malad, where the business is much less. See, if a contract cannot be specifically enforced, your remedy lies where you have damages. You cannot have both remedies. So that to that extent, it is wrong. We need to say that, or it is up to you to elect the remedy. Yes, Malad, Malad, the doctrine of election will apply to me. I, I agree to that. But uh, Malad, my difficulty is that if I only pursue the civil remedy, Malad, it will never be adjudicated where so there was a violation of the fundamental rights no, no. or not. We can decide this legal issue and probably in the next tender, because 2023, this tender is going to, you, you will be accommodated or you can be, suppose his appeal is dismissed. And you, we can always say that he should be treated as a preferential. But in the new tender, this issue becomes academic because Absolutely. you are already registered. All, and uh, already registered and that uh, that tender, new tender, so this may not have the same clause at all. This is something like uh, uh, operation was successful. And this. No, Malad, Malad, I was before the Honorable Court from September 2019. I was before you, the Honorable you, Court. You should have at least sought for some interim protection. 2018, yes. September 2018, from September 2018, keep, I keep, was before the Honorable Court. Keep 20 trucks vacant or something like that. So, Malad, I failed to obtain the interim order because, Malad, at that stage, Malad, the submission was that. One thing, sir, we cannot extend the period of tender. Red Court cannot do that. His specific stand is, in the absence of an interim order, he has allotted all these 21 tank trucks to others. As of now, there is no vacancy. 
and the contract period from 18 to 23 is going to end in 23 december is it? Uh, in uh, september or october, october. october. september or october so it's almost in the fag end probably 6 months you have got to operate so this becomes an unworkable order whatever you have obtained no, Malad, uh, Malad, kindly two things. Malad, firstly, Malad, can decide I, it, the it, is, it is not that I was not vigilant, Malad. I came before the Honorable Court in September 2018. The court also, see, Malad, that is why when you pass a judgment, there should also be a decree which by which uh, the uh, order becomes implementable. So we can decide the legal issue. We can always say that, no, no, uh, your application date is, uh, is the relevant date for all purposes because let us assume you give the application mm -hmm. today. <laughs> tender is invited next week. You participate in the tender. In the month of May, the Bihar authorities, RTO, grants registration, it will date back to today. So uh, as on today, when you applied, so it'll, your registration will date back to that date. So your applying in between will not be construed as unauthorized. So therefore, to that extent, we can decide. But it's not going to help you. Malad, I, I, I totally... There are no vacancies, is it? No, Malad, may I indicate one thing? It's not that his trunk trucks are lying idle. All the all his trunk trucks... May I indicate only one thing? 52 tank trucks were offered by the petitioner number one. Out of that, 45 we were given contract under this tender. So, so he's exited by seven. Seven and no, not seven. For 50, petition number seven one. Seven and 14, yes. 21 in total. Petition number two. We are concerned only... Petitioner number one, 52 given. 45, we have given contract under the standard in Bihar. No, why? He's agreed by seven. Hmm. In respect of those seven, we have given him 10 uh, contracts in other states, which he has accepted without prejudice, of course. So he is flying. So he is not affected. He is not, he is gainfully no, I am, employed. I am affected. I am affected. He is gainfully employed. I shall not bolte every state. Bolte bolte bolte. Bolte. Sorry, sorry. Hmm. Extremely sorry. He, he is gainfully employed. In so far as the petitioner number one, the remaining seven we packages. operate. We will fix sometime in May. No, Malad, Malad, it is not the same thing. Malad, the, no, there is no urgency. No? No. A lot of urgent matters. A lot of urgent matters. Yesterday, PILs are absolutely uh, not to say that uh, some fellows filled up this pond, that pond, this pond, notice, uh, affidavit, supplementary affidavit, reply, rejoinder. Malad, Malad, my, Malad, my only predicament is that what they are saying. And you are appealing that... for Bidhan Nagar Municipal Corporation. <laughs> but in another matter, Malad. Now, I am going to give that letter which we have addressed to your commissioner. <laughs> yeah, the road in uh, leading from uh, the main road to IA block. Malad. He needs to samosa. Every day there is a small accident. Malad, I will I'll take it up with My you. secretary will give it to you. I will take it up with the, my client. But Malad, the predicament here is that Malad, the States that continue to operate in the other state. But, but that business is not the same at all. But the business, true, true, definitely. the RTKM, that is the road trip per kilometer for which I applied in Bihar, Malad, is much higher. Not, your vehicles are not lying idle. Yes, Malad, Malad, 21. But your profit margin will be definitely less. 21 less. of the vehicles are lying idle. No, no, that's unbelievable. Malad, Malad, there, there is no business at all. There is no, okay. the requirement is not there. All right. We have heard the Lena Council. By order dated, um, well, at least that will be at the end of April, Malad. Uh, by, by order dated 29th September 2022, the uh, Honorable Division Bench, while considering the appeal, was satisfied that the appellant has made out a case for grant of interim relief, and accordingly, the order of stay of the order of the learned single bench was granted. Subsequently, the matter was adjourned on various dates. And the interim order was directed to continue. Um, if the interim order is to be vacated at this juncture, the appeal itself will become infructuous. Therefore, the interim order is made absolute till the disposal of the appeal. The learned advocate appearing for the respondent petitioner prays that the appeal may be fixed. Uh, appeal itself may be heard at an early date. List the appeal for directions. Huh? Uh, No and only one thing, Malad, all papers before the learner single judge are uh, already on record yes. in the application. We can so argue with this. We can argue on, on the no paper, paper book no paper. no paper. And we can furnish an index on the next day for your lordship. 10th of May in the daily list. Uh, since all the material paper, paper, 
documents are available in the state petition. Filing of the informal paper book is dispensed to. I'm grateful. You are, what do you want to say? So section 47 of the registration act relates back. That's all <laughs> I told. So to that extent, he's got a case. Absolutely. He's got a case. It's a presentation should be one doesn't have a case on that. I, I didn't want to, but it doesn't because not, this concept of dating back can only apply once registration is granted. It has not yet been registered in Bihar. But he has applied. He has applied. It is beyond his control. Blood, he may not. Neither, can, neither can you do something. No, blood. The, 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 the law is to the contrary. I'll show you a lordship, blood. There are specific rules. Anyway, we'll get into these questions later instead of not taking up your lordship's time. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Serial number three and four. Uh, can application uh, can be disposed of? Oh, that's state petition. Huh? State petition can be disposed of, but the state petition should come along with the application. You shouldn't send it off. Huh? State petition disposed of, but the application be kept on record. Hmm? Uh, Milad, I, the respondent, I appear on behalf of the appellant. Hmm. Milad, only one indulgence I was seeking from my lords. Hmm. That Milad, there are two applications. Hmm. Milad, if it can be taken up any day in the next week, because Milad, it's a, a long pending matter. And Miller, truly speaking, Miller, I could not, it's my fault, Miller. I tender my unqualified apology that I could not, Miller. Uh, no, it's actually fixed for today. today it's Miller. fixed for today, fixed, but. My Lord. Because what is what is the issue? The issue is, my lord, I was the, the I was the red petitioner, my lord. The red okay. petitioner is a senior citizen, my lord. He lost his husband and he was residing in a premises. Mm. And due to financial stringency, my lord, he entered into one development agreement with the appellant in three, MAT 314. My lord, there was a consideration amount which was fixed, my lord, but they could not honor the promise. Mm. And Order they forcefully ousted me and my son, who was pursuing the board exam, he will giving the board exams, my lord. So I made a complaint before the police station that I want to get back into my premises. Mm. My lord, they were not doing anything, my lord. At, at a last resort, my lord, I approached before this honorable court, my lord. Honorable court directed to reinstate me. The police authorities re reinstated me pursuant to direction of this honorable court, my lord. But why did you file a writ petition for that? Read petition, my lord. I was forcefully ousted, my lord. It is, I, I, it is not for the see. Admittedly, there is a agreement between you and the developer. A developer, my lord, has come uh, has uh, engulfed the property with the muscle. So, and the if you have uh, lodged an FAR and they have not registered a case, you could have gone under 482. She has directed, or the, you could have gone under 156.3 private complaint. How a writ court can reinstate you? And that is also and the also directed, the also directed the, the police station. Oh, where, are, where is your client? She is inside the property or outside? She is at present in possession of the property, my lord. Let her continue. You pursue your remedy elsewhere. This is an out and out civil Ah, yes. Out and out. Only one thing, my lord, and with regard to their appeal is that in my parent high court, this writ petition would not have been numbered. The registry would have raised an objection under the rules. How a writ petition is. We are not kind over here. But, but this and only one out civil lord. dispute, there it's a contract no, that is, the, you see, the police station was directed two, to lodge an FIR. Sir, two, the two things. One is, if there is a breach committed by the developer on any of the terms and conditions of the, the contract, you can rescind the contract, cancel it, uh, or have a supplementary agreement, etc. If nothing works out, your remedy is before the civil court. Oh, see, I have Anything. rescinded the contract, my lord. What they so have done, my lord, you, I had no other obtained, case. No, no. To if you had obtained a simple, I uh, filed a suit in the city civil court or in the original side of the high court. They have initiated a suit against me in uh, the lower court. You, have, in fact, you should have done, obtained an order of injunction against him not to interfere with your possession, not to forcefully dispossess you. Oh, see, I, I was helpless, my lord, and that is the reason, but my lord. It is somewhat familiar to today's situation. We will say that whatever is the status quo, as on date will continue. Yes. Give liberty to you to either defend yourself in that suit or initiate fresh action. If there has been any excesses committed by them, we and FAR has been already registered. We will direct the police to. Well, I am not a developer. 
Page thirty three in can number two nine six six of two thousand twenty. Mandamus uh, page thirty three. Well, earlier can has been disposed of. Only Mandamus directing the respondents four, five, and six. Who are four, five, and six? Commissioner of Police Bidhan Nagar, Deputy Commissioner, Inspector in charge, to take necessary steps to restrain the seventh respondent. Proprietor so and so from entering the premises. Such a prayer is not maintainable. Mandam is directing to pro police protection so that the petitioner can enter into the premises. This the police can't interfere except uh, only under circumstances if you have a civil court order. Three, directing the respondents five to uh, five and six to investigate the complaint. This has become infructuous. Because now charge sheet has been laid. Because on the basis of the order passed by the writ petition, writ court, my lord, they have lost any fire. Therefore, as of now, we will say that the status quo with regard to possession may continue. Both parties may agitate their respective rights, liberties, etc. Before the appropriate. Great. That is the best. Yes. This uh, this intra court appeal is directed against the order dated. Where is the order of the? Uh, it's here. Like order passed by order the order by this division bench, Miller. Uh, no, 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 order single bench. Single, single, page bench. One, single bench, Miller. One, page 159. Dated 14th. 14 February 2020. February 2020. The said uh, order was passed uh, in a in a writ petition filed by the respondent here, first respondent here. The, the, uh, just now we show. I can put the slip, sir. The index is not there. Can you can look at the Oh, where, where is the writ petition prayer you just now showed? Writ petition page 33, my lord. Page one, uh, in the application for from... stay at page, uh, it starts from page 19. Page 37. Of can number 2966 of 2020. No. In a writ petition filed by the first respondent herein. Praying for the following reliefs. A. For issuance of a writ of mandamus to direct the, commi the uh, Commission of Police, Bidhan Nagar Police Commissionerate, comma, Deputy Commission of Police, Zone 1, Bidhan Nagar Police Commissionerate, and Inspector in, in Charge, 6th South Bidhan Nagar Police Station. To restrain the 7th respondent, the, appell the appellant, in FMA number 986 of 2021, from entering into the premises at block CB, comma, plot number 13, sector 1, Salt Lake City, Kolkata. B, issuance of a writ of mandamus to direct the police authorities to render necessary police protection to the writ petitioners so that the petitioners can enter into the premises freely so that no hindrances and impediment can be caused by musclemen and bouncers deputed by the seventh respondent slash appellant in FMA number 986 of 2021 in the vicinity of the set premises. C. Manda must to direct the police authorities to investigate the, into the complaint made by the writ petitioners and to file a report before this court. The, uh, the learned single bench by the impugned order had virtually granted all the relief sought for by the writ petitioner and it is stated that the writ petitioner is in possession of the property in question. Admittedly, the genesis of the dispute is based upon an agreement mm -hmm. entered into between the writ petitioner and the appellant in FMA number 986 of 2021 concerning the subject property. There are interest disputes which are purely civil in nature. 
therefore we are of the clear view that the prayers sought for in the writ petition that that the writ petition was not maintainable we support such conclusion with the following reasons the first prayer sought for by the petitioner as mentioned above is seeking to restrain a private party namely the uh, seventh respondent in the writ petition and the appellant in 70 fma 7, 986 of 2021 from entering into the premises in question such a relief cannot be granted in a writ petition and the remedy of the writ petitioner is elsewhere and not before a writ court the second prayer sought for by the writ petitioner is to direct the police authorities to give police protection so that the petitioner can enter into the property in question to enable the authorities the enable the police authorities to give police protection comma the petty red petitioner has to establish breach of peace admittedly the genesis of the dispute is a civil dispute and the police cannot enter into the realm of a civil transaction unless and until a competent civil court has issued a specific direction based on either based on interim orders or a final judgment and decree therefore uh, is to seek for issuance of a writ of mandamus uh, without being supported by any order passed by the civil court would not be maintainable in any event uh, the prayer sought for has worked itself out since pursuant to the directions issued by this court the writ petitioners have been put in possession we therefore deem it appropriate that the said status quo should not be disturbed leaving it open to the parties to agitate the right we are in part before position the, before the uh, uh, competent civil court with regard to the th- third prayer comma the same has become infructuous as it is mentioned that the investigation has been completed and the final report has been filed and therefore prayer c stands is uh, has become infructuous in the light of the above comma while preserving the status quo with regard to the possession uh, of the petitioner uh, in the uh, in the portion of the said premises comma we leave it open to the parties to agitate all their rights before the appropriate forum we are informed that the appellant in fma number 986 of 2021 has filed a, a civil suit and the same is pending wherein the writ petitioners have been implicated as defendants uh, the, the the writ petitioners are entitled to defend the suit by raising all factual and legal contentions and any observation made in this order will not prejudice their rights in those civil proceedings similarly the writ petitioners are at liberty to work out their rights if according to them the agreement between the parties are no longer in force uh, and we may we do not wish to make any observations in this regard as it may impinge upon the rights of parties with the above observations the appeals stand disposed of thank you milad only one thing i should indicate milad that he had filed the suit uh, upon instructions from my instructing advocate you have just said you filed the suit i filed once one miss case and it against the order had... passed by the lottery by lottery by i was i just stood for eviction my lord because they were trespassers all right then they have to mark they were trespassers oh. and they are not in possession we are in possession and they have very good very good 10 people can argue sorry the uh, uh, it is brought to our notice that the writ petitioners have filed as eviction suit in which the appellant in fma 986 of 2021 hmm, um is a defendant and the uh, upper, and the said appellant has filed a miscellaneous case in the said suit hmm? Uh, we leave it open to the parties to agitate their uh, respective stand before the civil court uh, raising all factual and legal issues that's it. one at a time sir chartered high court chartered high court one at a time sir magistrate court sir
player no. he has sought position in young sir order is still yeah, passing dictated the order he is asking for yeah, agree supreme court please call the next case yes. thank serial you serial number 5 your lordships all can applications disposed your lord with your lordships permission i am a practicing advocate of the honorable court i am not a part of item number 5 your lordship i am fear to crave leave so that i can file this application your lordships have fixed a matter at 12 o'clock today which one uh, the, the which was item number 1 my application is uh, almost related to the matter but my prayers are different no, in fact similar requests have been made by four or five advocates your lordships their what, prayers what were same is, what we have said is we are not granted leave for to anybody we will hear you you come at 12 o'clock Your lordships, I will come in the meantime. I am filing. If oh. your lordships feels because my prayers are no, different are from the prayers made by the lords, right. huh? please come at twelve. Grateful lords. Serial number five. In this matter, I am appearing on behalf of the appellant deed petitioner, my lord. On earlier occasion, this honourable court has been pleased to grant the leave to file supplementary affidavit. What is the matter? Annexing the deed petition, my lord. Where is the deed petition? My lord, I. Repetition is not here. Huh? Okay. The lawsuit matter relating to inaction on the part of police authority. Yes. um the court says uh, in such circumstances further interference by writ court is not called for as and when the petitioner lodges a complaint to the local police no doubt the local police will take you have filed a complaint yes my lord but not before the local police authority what why my lord i am satisfied my lord i will kindly come to the page uh, nx p7 page 48 of the supplement supplemented affidavit In except P seven of the deed petition, supplemented affidavit, my lord. Page, I look page, page forty eight. Page forty eight. Ah, yes, that is order dated twenty first this February. Lord C. Page four. Page forty eight. There are three page numbers. An except P seven of the deed petition, my lord. Can I look? Represent P seven of the represent. Page fifty four. Oh, supplement. This one. Yes, yes, my. Lord Chief will go through. My lord, I made representation before the superintendent of police. My lord, I was beaten by the private respondent. My lord, then the local police authority rescued me and brought me to the police station. Then they treated me, and they again brought me to the police station. And in this police station, the local police authority threatened me: you do not file any complaint against those the private person. You hand over the your properties. My lord, matter started from the in the year 2009. My lord, who is for the police authorities? I'm for the state, my lord. Ah, oh. my lord. Why? What is your uh, instruction on that? My lord, I sorry. Lord, the uh, order was no, no. If he has lodged a complaint, the police authority lord, should in, in, uh, investigate it. If according to them it's a civil dispute, they can refer it as a misdemeanor offence. Lord, sir, it is a totally civil dispute. So you refer it. You give him a referral memo. Memo. He will challenge it. And why he is detained in the police station, threatened and other things? Then your policeman has to be suspended. Lord Chief, order was passed in the year 2021. Can you see the memorandum of appeal, my lord? Now, what is the present position, my lord? I cannot enter me in my village. This is the position, my lord. My lord, can you see? I made representation to the superintendent police and all the all the higher authority. Then at least the superintendent of police can consider. And all the higher authorities. It is like excommunication. He can't enter the village. Lots of report may be submitted. Hmm. 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 The petitioner. Otherwise, representation may be considered by. The... Within a time frame. So he says he can't enter the village. That is yes, a very serious issue. Bolo na. 
No, no. The learned single bench says, if he lodges a complaint, it will, they will consider. Yes, no, but he has not considered. No. All right. Uh, this uh, the writ petitioner has been dissatisfied with the order and direction issued in the writ petition dated fourth August twenty twenty one has filed the present appeal. The petitioner sought for. Uh, What is the prayer in the regulation? It's a monkey for a show. Peter, Tanaki, Peter. A monkey for a few minutes now. Tanner against it on a delegation. The prayer in the petition was to issue a writ of mandamus to direct the officer in charge of Mohanpur police station to take steps. In accordance with the uh, take steps based on the complaint made by the petitioner on 13 3 2020 and 7 7 2020. And, uh, and to direct the set police to ensure that nobody threatens the petitioner so that he can peacefully enter the village at Padima. Under Mohan, police station Mohan Mohanpur and carry on his daily functions. The learned uh, single bench had disposed of the writ petition uh, by directing by observing that if the petitioner lodges a complaint with the local police, then will take appropriate steps with regard thereto. The petitioner would submit that such a uh, such a, uh, that would submit that. The, the learned writ court ought to have uh, issued a positive direction to the petitioner, uh, to the respondent police, to investigate into the matter based on his complaint. The petitioner alleges that he is not able to enter the village. However, you are appearing for? Private respondent. However, the, uh, the learned advocate for the private respondent submits that the petitioner is daily entering the village and he is, and he is using the, uh, the hut Hmm, which he has put up in the village. These uh, disputed questions of fact cannot be gone into in a writ petition. From the annexures to the supplementary affidavit dated thirteenth March twenty twenty. Seventh July twenty. Ah no no supplementary affidavit annexure filed along supplementary affidavit uh, dated. 28 January 2020, we find there are two representations given by the petitioner the, to the superintendent of police, Pashim Vidinupu, dated. Uh, 13th of March 2020 and another. 7th of July 2020. And 7th of July 2020. Those representations are still pending. Therefore, the, the, we dispose of this appeal by directing. We direct the superintendent of police, Paschim Madhinipur, to take on file the said representation slash complaint and forward the same to the appropriate police officer to conduct a, uh, a detailed investigation into the matter and, if necessary, make a site a spot inspection of the area and thereafter. Uh, proceed to take action in accordance with the law. This direction shall be complied with within a period of four weeks from the date of receipt of the copy of this server copy of this order. Next. Serial number six. I'm, I'm your sign person. Yes. Would I appear for the state respondents, Mulat? 
I would question the maintainability of this appeal. Uh, the senior counsel has been always with me all together from 21 and he's saying, who are you? You you need not argue with him. You yes. address the court. I'm telling you, sir. You address that is the court. court. What, what was the writ petition for? So the writ petition is that everybody wants to buy my properties by force and force signatures. Means throwing me in the police station first by a 144 and then taking signatures for father, which I told my father, please don't do it. He's a doctor, eye surgeon. He was. He's no more. He, he passed away in 2018. My grandfather and our properties are massive properties in Behala, South 24 Pagnas. <clears throat> and these people, the state has been after the... I'll just show you, sir. So these are the documents to copy. Hmm. So we were the founders of light manufacturing in Patna and the founders of the fan in India, in Asia. We used to export till Germany. Hmm. And we had been only after pre-independence, 1930. And after that, they were only threatening us, my grandfather and all, by bombs and all, everything. When our two factories got closed, one in Behala and the J Engineering uh, Lake Gardens. It was part of us, then we sold it to DCM. So I, I uh, put a petition in uh, Justice Mantha's... Uh, uh, what, do you call what, what was the writ petition for? So th this is a writ petition for property in Behala where they wanted to no, acquire. Pray, prayer in the writ petition page yeah, number. The pray prayer is that the club, the club is with the uh, police and they jointly uh, put in 40 people inside at page night. 29. Uh, on, uh, page 29. In the okay. night to hmm. force me signatures and leave the property by a molest case. So I, have, I was under two molest cases and two, one assault. And one uh, which has uh, one four twenty. No, the prayer was mandamus to commanding the respondents to show cause why Naburna Sangha nearby and patients were shifted to nearby Salvation Army home. Yes, sir. So the Freem the... camp. They went house to house and talked negative of his brother with the help of local leaders, clubs, etc. Yes, not... sir. So what this is... is my father, an eye surgeon. We we our patients were pushed from the hospital to a uh, Salvation Army. Just imagine how forceful they were. In And this is the first eye hospital in the district, sir, where I stay now today. It's Krishna Bhavat. They've been hounding like anything, sir. At this age, if they no, keep... No, uh, what do you want? What is the, the... I want a relief so that they don't... What relief? In a red petition, we can't put you... In post so they've even uh, removed the uh, original uh, deeds and they're uh, mutating all the properties nearby. So you approach the civil court after so the up civil up court, the brother, the, there's one brother who's the black sheep. We were all well educated. He's the he's clubbed in with the local club. So therefore, so I've, I've therefore told, it is a family dispute. So I agree, sir. It's family dispute. But, uh, dispute, uh, but uh, suppose there is a threat to your life and you have uh, lodged a complaint seeking police protection, etc. Police have not acted. You can file your 482 petition or probably may be justified in filing a writ petition. We, but how to go into all these... So you see three deaths of my aunts and uncle has been taken indirectly by the club. We're very sorry to hear that information. But then as a writ court, so, we can't... Uh, so some relief has to be given so that I don't... We can make an observation that Huh. You can always approach the civil court and obtain appropriate orders. Civil court, the ju judges, the I'm sorry to speak, sir. Nothing works there in Alipur court, sir. Nothing works there in Alipur court. Sir, sorry, sir. 50, 50 lawyers pushed me out. 50 You're... lawyers pushed me out. And they wanted again the forced signature in the bar library. And then I got COVID. Just imagine how much cost I'm incurring with no income. My hospitals, two hospitals been closed fully. They sent patients and again take back the money. That is the thing going on. It's lucky that I have properties in Delhi that they fund me for my living. Otherwise, I would have been bankrupt. And some landed properties in Calcutta. There also, sir, was there in the other court. No, no. Uh, what the direction issued by the learned single bench? in the impugned order is perfectly no, not. I agree, sir, but give me some relief so that as as uh, Mr. Mantha has given me, that there should not be any disturbance. You see, Mr. Mantha's order, sir. No, that's in a different... It's not the impugned order. Sir, that's not the no, This is not the impugned order, but this is related to writ. Writ has got a very big aspect in our life, sir, in constitution of India. This is what I'm learning, sir.
they are also they are doing crime against me car accidents and here what is the kolkata municipal corporation doing so the kolkata municipal is doing false mutation sir false mutation sir and the supreme court has said that directly the mutation has no power to do title and that has even just as mantas order says your remedies before the civil no sir no sir so you read the second order so next to uh, to final order on uh, on 152 sir yes i am i am uh, reading that so you read so you read <clears throat> fourth fifth pages he is referred liberty to file a writ in the uh, corporate against the corporation in another court and after that he is given actions to do criminally see see the third last third and fourth the paragraph now the bank mm. the, the hare street police station may be looked into point of view of the criminal law and appropriate suit of steps may be taken by the yes, arrest sir the only thing is the signature sir if i sign they are the owners Sorry, state sir. is the owner sir. this uh, this intra court appeal well the order will not your lordship should consider once will see because that was passed by justice prasad yes I, your lordship has got that order 25th of june yes Th that has to be stayed and that is the fact that has to be stayed and the club has no, to be no, fine the this intra court appeal by the red petitioner appearing in person is directed against order dated 25 6 the red petitioner filed the the sorry the red petition was filed for the following prayers the prayer is here in this order itself in print order so with excuse this property is also under will my property is all under will so i get so the learned you... single bench after elaborately hearing the petitioner appearing in person comma held that the petitioner uh, that the petitioner seeks uh, to protect his the possession of the of an immovable property and therefore he he has to seek such a relief before the civil court agreed by saying the petitioner has preferred the present appeal we have elaborately heard the uh, the petitioner appearing in person and we find that the order passed by the learned single bench is perfectly justified and in order since the dispute is essentially uh, a family dispute concerning properties in fact the petitioner appearing in person made several submissions pointing out as to how one of his blood brothers has joined hands with another set of people and he has been evicted from the property in question no sir i have not been i stay there sir uh, i stay in my property right. has the joined hands uh, with uh, uh, another set of persons and acting against the interests of the red petitioner all Which is under issues, a will sir uh, further it is submitted by the petitioner appearing in person that there is a will executed by my his, grandfather my, by, the by the property owner the petitioner in respect of the said property all these issues cannot be agitated in a writ proceedings therefore we the this we uh, uh, therefore while dismissing and affirming the order passed by the learned single bench we grant liberty to the petitioner to approach the appropriate civil court for necessary sir, just one direction just that nobody takes four signatures sir nobody in the police station or anywhere thank you if you could thank you sir okay much please sir. thank you serial number 7 mala time for the appeal sir Oh, there is a delay of more than 103 days, sir. You, know? you, you are for the appellant bill. I'm for the appellant state. means writ petitioner. Re I'm for private the respondent. Writ petitioner. I'm for the state. Private respondent in the writ petition. He are more than appellant. And wh what is the direction? Uh, there is no direction against you. All that they say. Yes. Diamond Harbour National Highways Division will cause an inquiry into the construction made by your client. In the event they find construction. is on the land belonging to the any of them urgent steps may be taken they will put you on notice let them inspect no no, no everything no. what happened milot he has filed mal or petition stated that his ingress and egress has been obstructed Obstruct. but fact remains that inquiry report shows that his ingress and egress is not obstructed mal he suppressing that fact so mal or petition filed before the learned single judge otherwise mal or public land he has to file mal or public interest litigation 
whether mirror learned single just sitting below residuary jurisdiction whether pass such an order in respect of public land no no we will modify the orders by saying no. that no positive direction can be granted okay. if according to the writ petitioner there is some unauthorized construction the appropriate authority will look into the matter that's all. that's true but whether mirror writ petitioner has a right to put this question or file this writ petition if it is an illegal respect of public land no, if it's no. an illegal construction on a public property, he can file a writ petition. But if there is a civil dispute between both of you, writ petition is not permitted. No, he has not filed public interest. He filed Miller no, not petition. It but is that, a special that's interest. True, matter what happened, Miller? Yeah, rightly, it's yes. classified as a this group Miller, this, writ petition, this private respondent, Miller, they are uh, originally, Miller, they are a private land. They are sitting there, Miller, last 40 years. They have construction. Now, Miller, subsequently, land has been acquired. No notice has been acquisition was that is, that is a remedy is elsewhere. Yes. If the national highways has not issued notice and uh, they have unauthorizedly uh, acquired the land, you should have challenged the acquisition process. Not only that, Milord, kindly this see, order Milod, will not what, what happened, Milord? Government has allotted Milord house under the Milord uh, Abbas Jojuna. Bangla Abbas they Jojuna. Will, they will that Milord house has been constructed upon the land. Uh, now, Milord, oh, if Milord government is oh, demolished, that, then Milord government no, no, will government won't demolish without hearing you. What is your instruction? No, no, Milord. Assistant engineer, Milord, they have filed quantum application. Con in connection with the quantum, Milord, uh, the assistant engineer national highway, Milord, uh, uh, division one, they have passed order, uh, demolish the entire. Not so only you that. You challenge that order. Milord, that order is Milord, statutory appeal lie before the Milord district by the state. You, you file appeal, you file writ petition. That's true, but my, my question is, you know, whether it petitioner initially, you know, it petition file, they have stated that their ingress and egress has been obstructed. Well, no, if you know, yeah. if you this ingress egress is not obstructed actually, whether you know, suppressing this file, where petition, is the order passed by yes. the authority? National no, no. of the national highway. No, no, of the national highway. National highway, if you're lots of there is you know, thousands of enclosure, thousands of enclosure. Yeah. Or quantum proceeding will seven seventeen March, my lord justice Mallor Mantha has passed order that demolish all. No, the block land and land reforms officer yes. has passed an order. You challenge that order. Notice of removal has been issued. Huh? And uh, notice has been sent by speed post, returned with the comment, deceased. A letter of the postmaster Alipur returned back with the comment, deceased. Hearing held on 14th in chamber of the executive engineer. What is appeared? Or how Mala this is to how party appeared? The how appeared Mala. Mala, whether Mala postal authority was note has been given. Lots of petitioner was present at the time of the hearing, Mala. No, has you have you passed an order? Lots. Yes, yes. On what date? Where is the order? Uh, yes. 29 March. 29 March. 29 March. 29 March. In pursuance of the lordship, the order of the learned trial judge, the notice was issued. They have participated, and thereafter on 29th March, two orders so are during the pendency of this appeal. Your kindly see. They, they have on 29th March. You challenge this order, sir. No, my lord. My question is, my lord, whether my lord learned single judge, my lord sitting that we will deal. That we will deal and pass an order. Not only that, you challenge this order. If the my lord read petition, my lord suppress the material fact they have filed previously 147 right. or ingress and egress oh, after but that matter has been dismissed and report shows that there is no ingress uh, obstruction of ingress and egress that has they have suppressed well can you see more of the report of the mother bill arrow so more suppressing fact you know, they have demolished to of the poor people who has been uh, last sir. 40 years well, they are after years, can yes sir we have heard you this not only that mother, government allotted house this under the scheme this intra court appeal is directed against order dated 30th there after November. Contempt is there. Wait, 30th November 2021, passed in WPA number 2249 of 2021, filed by the respondents here. The appellants are the private respondents in the writ petition, namely respondents 9 to 12. The allegation in the writ petition is that that the private that the appellants have encroached into a land belonging to the national highways and put up construction and the ingress and egress to the writ petitioner's property has been affected. The learned single bench has disposed of the writ petition by directing the uh, authorities of the national highways division to inquire into the matter. And if there is 
any encroachment uh, uh, steps should be taken to demolish the said uh, construction and post, uh, construction the learned advocate for the appellant would vehemently contend that the writ petitioner is guilty of suppression of material facts and could not have approached the writ court uh, by filing a writ petition by classifying the same under the residuary residuary uh, determination residuary determination residuary classification further it is submitted that uh, uh, that um, uh, the appellants are in possession of the property for over 40 years and they have also put up construction uh, the learned uh, government council as well as the learned advocate appearing for the and more recently malo government allotted house under the malo pradhan mantri abas yojana scheme the that house also constructed uh, uh, government council and the learned advocate appearing for the writ petition submitted mm -hmm. that in terms of the directions inquiry was conducted and an order has also been passed by the uh, the uh, executive engineer of the national ibs division 1 public works within brackets road directorate dated 293 2023 uh, and there is an earlier order hmm, uh, 293 2023 the uh, in reply the learned advocate for the appellant would submit that that uh, uh, the house had been uh, the the construction put up by the uh, appellants are under a scheme of the government of india in any event uh, an order having been passed by the appropriate authority come on the direction issued in the writ petition has worked itself out therefore the only remedy available to the appellant is to challenge the uh, correctness of the order passed by the executive engineer national ibs division 1 public works roads directorate dated 23 29 3 2023 or any other order that have, would have been uh, passed thereafter with uh, with such li liberty uh, the appeal stands disposed of next well, till disposal of the well, statutory appeal well, no coercive action will no, be no. taken by no. the no. when when you will file the appeal yes, well, 29 well, uh, order has been passed well, uh, fourth has been well, filed well, last day well, has been the filed. learned uh, after the uh, what is the period of limitation under the statute? Yes. No, my you're actually carrying 29 March order has been passed. 4th April, after the order was dictated, the learned advocate appearing for the appellant submitted that an appeal has been filed on 4th April 2023 against the said order dated 29-3-2023. If the same has already been filed, the said appellate authority shall consider the appeal and dispose of the same in accordance with law. May I indicate one thing? I don't appear in this matter because I am there in the writ proceedings. Lord, mm. the learned single judge has directed filing of the appeal before the district magistrate. Now, the, Lord, the act provides... Not before DM. Not before DM, before, before the tribunal. But they appear to have preferred the appeal subject to correction before the district magistrate. Anil file Kali, it before the tribunal. Anil Kali, DM doesn't have power. And I'll kindly indicate so that in order, order. Order. then the last the one day proceeding there is your order. Uh, 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 yes, I'll kindly indicate the appeal will be before the, the tribunal. tribunal. Uh, it, uh, it is submitted to the learned the tribunal is not functioning in the West Bank. You can come to the writ court, you know, indirectly, he is telling where you have to go. You take the hint from him. What will the single judge direction was there? Oh, and so, yeah. mm. Government counsel that the appeal before the district magistrate filed by the appellant is not maintainable. I see he is not the competent authority. If, if that be so, the district magistrate may either return the appeal memorandum to the appellant or forward the same to the appropriate appellate authority. We remain grateful, Millard. We remain grateful. Uh, with due intimation to the appellate. Yes. Uh, one, uh, one thing I am just pointing out here. Just one uh, For non compliance of the order, contempt proceeding was there. In the contempt proceeding, the contemptor appeared. They have submitted a report by saying that, yes, order has been complied. We have affirmed the order. That's yes. All. Oh. And they, before the contempt proceeding, they have said that we will prefer it. 
Next. Now, AG is not at call. No? Let the AG come. You call only. Serial number eight. May please the Lord see matter mirror. But I appear for the <clears throat> appellant and mirror. Well, the prayer of the appellant is this mirror. Interest for the period or delayed payment of dependent pension. I will not kindly come to page 60. That is the order. Now, the, the direction has been issued to pay the areas. Yes, areas have been paid. Areas have been paid. Huh. Areas, areas for the period from 24th October 2015 to 19th September 2018, mm. in, uh, 2018 that millard, the interest not paid. Not and that was paid, delayed in after this read application. Not that was, uh, no, no, wait. wait. No. Uh, you, uh, what was the reason for the delay? See, interest is uh, uh, payable. There are two types of interest. Yes. One is if that a particular statute uh, interest is payable, that's statutory. The second interest is common law remedy, where the writ court can say this person has been put to a lot of harassment. Therefore, on this amount, 8% simple interest. Yes. And the learned uh, 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 unless and until you are able to make out a case of failure on the part of the authority to take action, appropriate action, how do you justify a claim sir, for they it? They fail to take appropriate action on granting your dependent family pension only after moving read application before this honorable court that family pension was granted. So, but but Milo, not for that period. The statutory Lord interest Lord is Chief, not prayer. for that period. In the writ petition, Lordship, there was no prayer for pension. Oh, okay. The scheme, Lordship, this is a freedom fighters pension. This is not oh, a freedom fighters pension. Lordship. No, sorry. Therefore, that is not. No not interest is paid. This intra court appeal is directed against the order dated 28th February 2022, WPA 20973 of 2021. The writ petition was filed for sanction of freedom fighters pension. The learned writ court has disposed of the writ petition by directing uh, that uh, arrears of the freedom fighters pension shall be paid for the period from October 24, 2015 to, nine, to August 2018. It is admitted by the learned advocate for the appellant that the arrears have been paid. Uh, uh, though there was no specific prayer sought for in the writ petition for payment of interest, comma, it appears that a oral submission was made. However, the court was not in the. However, the learned writ court was not inclined to grant interest for the alleged delayed payment. Admittedly, the payment of pension is under a scheme, huh? yes. and uh, and uh, the appellant having not been have not made out any case for failure on the part of the authorities to uh, to uh, grant the areas of the pension at the appropriate time, comma, the, the claim for interest cannot be sustained. Therefore, there will be find no error in the order. Uh, for, further, we find that the writ petition was filed in the year 2021. Thus, the petitioner, writ pet, appellant writ petitioners themselves have contributed to the delay. Therefore, we find no reason to interfere with the order passed by the learned single bench. Appeal fails dismissed. Sorry, next. It will do. <clears throat> One more matter. Serial number nine. Lord, I am appearing on behalf of the state respondents. I am appearing for the petition. The read up. The read up application was filed, alleging me Lord that the police authorities, despite several complaints being made, have not taken any action in accordance with law. Paragraph 8 and 9, I have stated, Milord, the acts done by the private respondent 
and with regard to the complaint mentioned in paragraph 8 and 9, I made a prayer that the police authorities should take up steps in accordance with you on the basis of complaint. Now, Miller, the read court has firstly dismissed it on the ground that there is no urgency involved in the matter, although the matter was filed two months ago. And I mentioned the matter so that it can be heard out. Even for two months, the matter was not taken up. And on my mentioning, the matter came. And a cost of 3,500 is imposed because I mentioned this matter. That's the one reason. The second no, reason is... The cost, uh, cost that, uh, Leaving aside that part, that's the that material. Uh. The second part comes in that it was submitted on behalf of the state advocate that in respect of one complaint, mm. a charge sheet has followed. Mm. There was a confusion whether charge sheet has been filed or not because I ascertained it and find it's true. My learned friend is right enough in saying that insofar as one complaint which is recorded in the order itself, a charge sheet has followed. So far as other complaints which forms part of the writ application, it is silent on the part of the state advocate as okay. well as why are you begging before them? I'm sorry. If if they are not registered a complaint under the code of under the criminal procedure code, there is a remedy. Why why you? In fact, the reputation itself was not maintained. Absolutely, ma'am. You could have lodged a private complaint. You you would have gone under 156.3 before the magistrate. Twenty complaints you have lodged, and twenty repetitions you will find. No, we are no. not here to. No, do that. no, no, no. It's not that. We I will mean. give you liberty if. See, suppose they have not registered an FAR. On preliminary inquiry, on a petition inquiry, they find it's a civil dispute, mistake of fact. Then you're, you're not as if you're, you're, there are no remedies available. A lot of remedies are there for you. I just want, your Lordship is absolutely correct. The we will delete the cost and give you liberty to go before the company. May, may I submit this? Taking into the complaint as a whole, it will leave no doubt about that the police we can't go into the merits of the I mean, only one thing which I may request your lordship to take into consideration. My client is a 76 years old. What has cancer happened? Patient. Cancer patient, 76 years old. The complaint is that he entered into a work contract with the private respondent. Under the work contract, there is a dispute what amount he, is, he has paid or there is some liability payable. This is the dispute. Now, my lord, the private respondent have gone into his property, taken, locked the property, taken custom, possession of the flats, in, in, throw, thrown him out from the property. And in that flats, they have entered another person. And I requested the police authorities to make a complaint. When I made a complaint, the police is insisting to take action me rather taking any action against the offense complaint. All right. In one complaint, charge sheet has been filed. Yes. One How complaint. many more complaints are pending? One, I have two, made a list. Three, four, what five, five, six, seven, eight, eight complaints. My Lord, there are eight complaints. All right. What have you done, Madam? On those Madam, eight? may I submit, my Lord? My Lord, these complaints which are being now narrated before a lawship, my Lord, these are all absolutely same with respect to the subject matrix. My Lord, there is no distinction between. My Lord, taking us... To refer the complaint. My Lord, what has happened? My Lord, we had registered because my Lord kindly sees there is no cognitive prime of SI, my Lord, to register. No, no, we are, we are not here. To, to be a no, no, we are not advising your police authorities to do this in this fashion or not. You have received the complaint. You inquire into it. If you see it, it is of civil nature, refer the complaint. Why do you keep it on your file? My Lord, and that is all it. basically a representation referring, all referring to the earlier date. That's you, how you return everything. Why did you accept it? You return everything so that he will go before a different form. And my Lord, what we have done, my Lord, with respect to the last, my Lord, the accumulated FIR was registered on 1st of uh, June, uh, July 2019. And based on that, my Lord, we conducted the investigation and also submitted a charge sheet. Now, prime of Asai, my Lord, when they came up in this appeal, their allegation was to the effect that the charge sheet has not been submitted and that's an absolutely erroneous statement which was recorded oh, by no, the he admits. Now he is standing out of it my lord because i have failed to submitted the requisite thing the next part is that my lord the reason as to why this was held because in that court my lord there was uh my lord uh, 
in case of extreme urgency, a liberty was given to the concerned petitioner advocate to mention the matter and get the matter done. Malar, so this is the reason why perhaps this cost has come. Malar, however, Malar, that is absolutely a fortunate situation. Not, I'm not in the way. But Malar, with respect to the whatever complaint they are saying, everything is accumulated in this complaint. And Malar, that is also landed with Chashi. Now, if he is really having any grievance, there is a provision under the Code of Criminal Procedure to go for Nara petition which they have not available instead my lord they're filing appeal making aspersions against the judges the council i don't know what thankfully my lord now he is withdrawing it so i have nothing more to say how can there be an aspersion against the judges and all right. we have heard you sir. i say that one only was made other complaint right. this intra court appeal by the red petitioner is directed against the order dated 18th june may 2022 in wpa 4962 of 2022 the said petition was disposed of uh, now was disposed of by imposing cost of rupees 3,500 on the red petitioner. The sum and substance of the grievance of the red petitioner is that that several complaints have been lodged by the red petitioner to the Howrah police station. But no action has been taken against any of those complaints. Rather, the red petitioner has been continuously being harassed uh, by the private, uh, by the uh, by the uh, which respondent? By the six, seven, eight. By the respondent six, seven, and eight, and it is alleged that they have disposes the red petitioner from the property and puts such certain third parties in possession. The uh, the learned, learned government counsel uh, on written instruction submitted that that the uh, the uh, Based on the complaint given by the upper end, investigation was done and charge sheet has been laid on 29th February 2022 for offences under Section 448, 427, 323, 506 and Section, and section 34 of the Indian Penal Code. The, though initially, comma, the petitioner contended that no charge sheet has been filed Come on, during the course of argument, uh, come on, today, to, to not, to, 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 today during the course of argument, the learned advocate for the appellant admitted that in that said case, charge sheet has been laid. Full stop. The grievance of the appellant is that there are eight more complaints which are still pending with the police. The learned government counsel sub submits that, that all the facts are identical and the after investigation, charge sheet has been laid. And if at all the appellant is aggrieved, uh, he can. He has to avail the remedies available under the provisions of uh, the Criminal Procedure Code. The submission made by the learned government counsel is well founded. If the appellant is aggrieved by the inaction of the respondent police, uh, it is well open to the appellant to avail the remedies uh, which are available under the Code of Criminal Procedure. Therefore, no further direction is required to be issued in the writ petition, and the observations made by the red uh, petition as already a charge sheet has been laid in respect of one of the complaints lodged by the appellate. Uh, therefore, we find no grounds to interfere by the order passed by the learned single bench. However, the we are, uh, we are however, considering the facts and circumstances of the case and that the appellant is a senior citizen and, uh, and uh, suffering from certain illness, come on, the cost imposed on the appellant Stands deleted without much of life. Yes. One line, if your Lord said, may kindly add the one in, in respect whereof charge sheet has been issued. Is one itself is not maintainable. We would have I dismissed it. Right. This will my Lord, this will not come as embargo on the part of the state to take action in accordance with other complaint because it closes one line that. So far as the one in respect whereof charge sheet has been issued, it covers. In respect of others, there is no... You can, you can, you know I better. Can, but one line, but we... this will not Sorry, take sir. the authority from taking thank in you. accordance with law in I respect of others. Thank you. Thank you. State 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 fixed state at 12 p.m., serial number one. But one line that at least police should inquire into the other complaints. Cost, 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 thank and you. cost is deleted so far as the... Cost has direct. been deleted, Mr. Sorry. Gupta. Cost delivery. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
Lord kindly takes one of the last but uh, third paragraph at page eight. That covers it. Having regard to the applicant. Hmm. Yes. Lord, uh, I have my Lord. Uh, Manage to my lord uh, discuss, but unfortunately, my lord, not face to face because my lord, there's a blockade there also. My lord, they couldn't come. But my lord, may I indicate, my lord, first, my lord, may I hand up, my lord, that 27 terms and conditions, hmm. my lord, which have my lord been framed, my lord, by the Kolkata police. Yes. <laughs> But uh, it says car, tableau, etc. There is no ban on. Uh... No, my lord, your lordship's uh, uh, right, my lord. Your lordship asked me, I said, my lord, on foot. My lord, some vehicles go in, my lord, which have a tableau. I checked on that, my lord, but not necessarily, my lord, for tomorrow's procession. My lord, in Ram Navami, that happens. In Durga Puja, it happens, my lord. It, right. My lord, uh, so my lord, that. The other people are on foot. Yes, all others, my lord, have to be on foot. It's not, my lord, that there's a car rally or there is a uh, motorcycle rally or, my lord, a cycle rally. I think some uh, tweaking is required. My lord, my lord, I have, my lord, made 15 points. My lord, I've discussed, my lord, with, my lord, uh, the concerned authorities. My lord, all 15 may not be possible for them now, my lord, but I'll, my lord, for future also, my lord, we'll, my lord, certainly, my lord, require. My Lord, first thing, my Lord, which I would, my Lord, suggest, my Lord, is subject to your Lordship's approval, is, my Lord, that whatever terms and conditions, my Lord, are imposed, my Lord, once an uh, application is made, my Lord, the person applying and the organization concerned, my Lord, must give a declaration, my Lord, to the effect that, my Lord, the organization, its office bearers and the applicant will be liable, my Lord, for any breach of the terms and conditions of, my Lord, the permission. And, my Lord, if, my Lord, it is found that owing to such breach of terms and conditions, my Lord, that any damage to life, property, or, my Lord, any bodily harm is, my Lord, concerned, my Lord, they would also be, my Lord, responsible. <laughs> my Lord, that is, my Lord, the declaration which your Lordship, my Lord, indicated right, my Lord, um, up front, my Lord, in today's hearing, so that accountability, my Lord, is also there for, my Lord, persons who are applying and persons who are, my Lord, going to, my Lord, take out the procession. Second, my Lord, is, my Lord, on the participants, if your Lordships look at, my Lord, clause 2, mm. my Lord, number of participants should be in accordance with declaration in the application. Mm. My Lord, the police, my Lord, should have, the authority should have, my Lord, the, my Lord, authority, my Lord, to restrict, my Lord, the yes. number of participants, yes. my Lord, your Lordships, because we are looking at preventive steps now. Yes. In, mm. Because... My Lord, other than, my Lord, the extent of the route, my Lord, also, my Lord, preventive steps in, my Lord, what appears to be, my Lord, a charged atmosphere for whatever reasons. My Lord, particularly keeping that in mind, 
Mallard that this depending on Mallard the route to be followed Mallard there will be Mallard a Mallard uh, discretion on the police keeping Mallard law and order situation in mind to determine Mallard how many participants should be there and Mallard they have to accept that now Mallard the second Mallard is Mallard the starting time and Mallard the end time of Mallard the procession which will be indicated Mallard has to be strictly follows. It Mallard cannot go beyond Mallard that Mallard. Mallard this is Mallard. Then Mallard your Lordships Mallard made a suggestion with regard to barricading of the entire route. Mallard that may not be possible immediately. Mallard to Mallard because well, immediately it may time not. Time is too short. Yes time is too short Mallard and we'll probably need many more barricades. Mallard uh, close to Mallard 2000 applications have been made. Mallard for Mallard where I have Mallard something to say. Mallard. So Mallard on barricades, Mallard, I leave it to your Lordships, Mallard. I was thinking that's my suggestion without con Mallard uh, consulting, Mallard uh, taking any consent. Mallard, my suggestion subject to your Lordships approval, but kindly make it an order of court, Mallard, if your Lordships feel, Mallard, that at least that suggestion has some merit. Mallard, whatever sensitive areas, Mallard, the police can identify Mallard in the route. Mm. My Lord, for those sensitive areas, my Lord, they should provide my Lord barricades. My Lord, rather than my Lord, the entire route. My Lord, this is my Lord, what I was for the time being, my Lord. Oh. Mm. Because my Lord, there, there, my Lord. Yes. Then my Lord. Uh, what we, uh, Millard, had fallen from your lordships and which I had also indicated to your lordships, Millard. In Millard, uh, Millard, where Millard, the culmination point of a rally, Millard, is common. Millard, the starting point also has to be common. So that, Millard, people don't, Millard, but join. But here, what, what is the situation? From where, from, Millard, where there, do they start and where do they end? Millard, for Millard, uh, Millard, the Hanuman, Millard, uh, uh, Jayanti, Millard, processions. Millard, there are, Millard, going to be, I'm told, Millard, a uh, few hundred, Millard, in Millard, in and around Kolkata. Millard, they have different routes, Millard. So, they, it will start to the temple and come back to the temple? Yes, Millard, or Millard, localities. Locality. Also localities. Millard, it's not one temple, and now Millard is, Millard, it, Millard, always ending, Millard, on Millard, by the river, or anything, Millard. So, Millard, whatever routing Millard is given, Millard, that Millard, again, I'll come to that Millard separately. So, my Lord, uh, keeping that in mind, my Lord, my Lord, whatever my Lord needs to be done in this regard, my Lord, it's so, my Lord, we may have my Lord in my Lord as an example, my Lord, for Kolkata, if I may indicate, mm. my Lord, that my Lord, there is my Lord a rally, my Lord, the end point, my Lord, in say Baliganj area is my Lord, say, let us say the Shiv Mandir. Mm. My Lord, they're starting out, my Lord, at, my Lord, from 10 corners. My Lord, I would, my Lord, request, my Lord, that whatever, my Lord, the route is, should be one. Similarly, my Lord, in, my Lord, blocks. My Lord, if they have, my Lord, a one culmination point, they should start, my Lord, at a common point. Otherwise, it becomes a problem, my Lord. Yes. Rather than, my Lord, a route starts, and my Lord, we have my Lord from my Lord, 10 my Lord feeder lanes, my Lord, people joining. My Lord, if it's in a sensitive area, it could give rise to my Lord trouble. So my Lord, in this atmosphere, my Lord, uh, apropos what has fallen, my Lord, then my Lord, then my Lord, um, the route, my Lord, they may ask for my Lord, seven kilometers, eight kilometers route, my Lord, which my Lord? No, no, that you have to restrict. Yes. So my Lord, that discretion, my Lord, should be my Lord with the police. Then my Lord, route march, my Lord, which your Lordships indicated, of course, my Lord, the rally is tomorrow. So my Lord, whatever, as many number of route marches that can be done, my Lord, by the police, my Lord, in these areas, my Lord, can, my Lord, your Lordships, my Lord, name, my Lord, provide for that. Then, my Lord, where there are already 144, my Lord, orders in place, my Lord, there, my Lord, there will not be, my Lord, any, my Lord. Then, my Lord, uh, 
my lord volunteers my lord in all these your lodges will find my lord volunteers of the organization my lord names are given with mobile numbers they my lord are supposed to perform my lord which has been the case particularly my lord in our major festivals here in the state which my lord have been over 100 years old my lord that the volunteers my lord assist the maintenance of law and order so my lord this is my lord act and my lord it's provided by the organization themselves and my lord even my lord in ram navami case my lord names of volunteers had been given in some cases my lord their detail should be given and their role my lord should be indicated to assist my lord the police yes then my lord at what is perceived my lord by the police my lord cctv cam uh, to be sensitive areas my lord like barricades there should also be my lord cctv cameras other than what is already there my lord several roads my lord routes already have cctv cameras over and above that my lord wherever my lord it is my lord felt my lord sensitive my lord they can my lord have my lord cctv cameras my lord um, and my lord the police force my lord should my lord cover the rally both at the front and rear end my lord that should my lord also my lord be my lord provided and my lord responsibility for damage my lord whoever it is my lord whether my lord if it is found my lord that my lord any of the members of the procession are responsible for my lord any damage my lord then my lord the my lord naturally my lord the provisions even that order which my yes, lord friend has handed up 1972 act my lord the my lord provisions my lord uh, would my lord apply the last page my lord what is that 1972 act? my lord this is my lord Pu public order my lord maintenance act 1972 earlier my lord it only applied my lord to my lord public property my lord but my lord there was an amendment introduced in 2017 which my lord also made it applicable after the supreme court judgment my lord damage to private property my lord persons responsible my lord would could also be held liable my lord for my lord compensation my lord so my lord um, and my lord uh, the assessment ground situation my lord which is also provided here my lord page 8 my lord naturally my lord this <coughs> my lord which we my lord uh, if my lord need is felt and my lord i have spoken Because considering this 2000 applications is for kolkata alone no 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 my lord throughout this yes state. yes my lord that is my lord what is my lord not just kolkata my lord my lord here i have something to say my lord ram navami and my lord uh, hanuman jayanti processions was not a very common my lord thing my lord in kolkata my lord or my lord west bengal my lord which is my lord been happening because these are religious processions my lord uh, durga puja yes kali puja yes my lord but my lord uh, ram navami my lord and my lord hanuman jayanti have not been my lord terribly common now my lord last 5 years my lord it has started now my lord what has now my lord happened is my lord unknown organizations my lord are also my lord putting in their application because my suggestion to your lordships would have been whatever religious procession application should come in my lord should come in at least 15 days in advance and my lord for the time being my lord the proliferation should not be permitted my lord whatever was traditional as which has happened over the last 5 years my lord those are the ones which are to be considered my lord see of course when you when you when you introduce this uh, application it goes without saying that the authority has got power to reject the application yes correct it goes yes. without but the thing is the magnitude of the uh, problem or the crowd involved i don't think so the, we don't think that the state police alone will be able to manage it because if they are going to go in front and the rear the mischief happens no no they'll be along no no they'll be along with oh. the procession as well my lord my lord deployment volunteers in fact i had seen these volunteers in this durga puja etc they are all young boys and girls who have been given that uh, badges badges etc oh, they can't do much they can't do much. no 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 my lord i am not saying my lord they'll only assist my lord the the police i am not uh, saying, obviously lord. these volunteers have got no power to exercise or detain no, no, no. catch them report no. them that is all. so it is better that if you requisition 
at least uh, some paramilitary uh, from the na- neighboring state or somewhere so that they can assist not taking that there is a failure on the part of the state missionary no it is to assist the state missionary and as you said uh, this five years lot of these uh, uh, things have erupted i mean uh, coming up very recently western influence etc those things are there and these are uh, once it has come to state has come to state but how to reassure the public that don't worry nothing will happen i am here my lord one is my lord i think my lord to start with and uh, our learned friend was saying that they are dropping stones from the terrace and can we put a net right through <laughs> not not even before the elections not we have paramilitary forces patrolling the areas this is only to give an installation of faith and confidence on the people because uh, if something some person may miss the other person uh, will be able to detect and they can keep patrolling the entire area any uh, shady movement and the intelligence wing should work that's very very important if there is an allegation that the incidents were which precipitated mean action which precipitated the incidents were pre planned and we were not able to find then there is a failure of intelligence, intelligence. yes yes you are audible you stay there I joined the issue with the Atlantic General of the State of the State that it's a new type of festival which is coming to the State and which has some unique features unlike the other festival which has had the Atlantic General of the State there are things also at success in the State of the State of the State these processions are not taken to the Ganges or to the Kevin Prasad problem with these processions and others are here reaching the political leaders all right we will see what best can be done yes madam what do you like to say lordships there are three issues on which i am before your lordships today the first and the foremost issue is your lordship that even after whatever arson and violence took place we have seen that the honorable chief minister of a state who should be unbiased has on number of occasions made such utterances which is totally against one community now your lordship i am very neutral i am not speaking in favor of a community or against a community i am just questioning this as a normal person a resident of west bengal can a chief minister has such biased statements against one community where she is saying your lordship kindly hears me out and i have videos and everything which i can present before your lordship where she is saying that it is the month of muharram muslims can't do anything bad it is upon you hindu to ensure that they stay safe it is upon you hindu to make sure and protect them what does this mean that you have divided west bengal in between two communities which is hindu on one side and the other is muslim such biased statements coming from a chief minister of a state and that on public platform in 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 a rally in khejuri midnapur which resulted your lordship into further violence now here is a report i was not a part of the petition i have filed a petition today and i come to know that your lordships had seeked for a report which the state has filed today but they fail to say this that even after your lordships order there was violence in rishra on the railway station a train was attacked stones were pelted bombs were hurled in present of police and there was a stand still for 4 hours now my uh, honorable senior rear says that police will take care police was present in part of the rally in shipur now i say so not as hearsay your lordship i was a part of that rally i was brutally attacked on my eyes i had to get operated that is why i was wearing glasses in the morning police was present there as a mute as a mute spectator just next to me stones were being hurled 
and the police did nothing. This police, your lordship, and I'm telling so, for two hours, they had no instruction to even lati charge. I am not saying anything against any community, but the demonor proved who they were. Now here, my second point, which I, I will not take much time of your lordship, I am keeping it very small. The second point is, here in a report, they say 40 people arrested, 45 people arrested. In the videos, we could all see in which area this took place. Today, my senior says that we will restrict the areas. Now, your lordship, he also mentioned that Ram Naomi and Hanuman Jayanti are recent fashion. Can we say so regarding one particular community on their beliefs? Can we question it? If it is a fashion, all the people are on the streets on Ram Naomi. Can we stop them? Can we do the same for some other community? If the rules are being made today, my humble submission is we all want peace. If such rules and restrictions are being made today, can my seniors say that the same will be applicable on any other occasion or processions of Moharam or Eid? Obviously. Nobody has got a right. No? You can't. I, 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 you are entitled, I for, you you are entitled for free movement. Hmm? I agree with your logic. And if that is going to be hampered, definitely the state can put restrictions. Can. If this this uh, rally or procession from the format given doesn't say about any function. It goes without saying it applies I to am all a rights. peace, loving and abiding citizen, your lord. I agree to this completely. But when again I come back to my first point, where a chief minister has questioned one particular community, is it possible? She has already uh, put that them have, in a witness box. You have already said, we will see what Your lordships, a random arrest is being made. And I tell your lordship, so this is the first time that I'm appearing before your lordships. On number of occasions, I have raised my voice for the people, for causes which are for the people. If your lordships have heard about the post poll violence which happened in Bengal, I was the first petitioner in person. I ensured that people all over Bengal could go back to their houses by reaching each and every police station on my own. I have ensured so. So it is not that that I am here doing any kind of a drama before your lordship. I am a peace abiding. Nobody has alleged that. Nobody has alleged that you are creating a number of occasions. This allegations has come from the other side. Come... <laughs> so your lordships, I am also saying this that after all this has happened, number of arrests are being made randomly, where the people who were part of peacefully in this procession, they are also being picked up from the houses. And those who did not even participate are also being picked up from the houses. And those, and I mention here, Hindi speaking, those who are Hindi speaking and having some allegiance to some political party who's in opposition, they are being arrested. Now, who will question whether they were present there or not? They are being brutally beaten up in the police station. They are being brutally beaten up. They are showing a video which is viral with a boy having a pistol in his hand. Has the police mentioned for once that there, uh, there was any firing in that occasion from that pistol? No. But they have brought them in a witness box that these people who are part of the processions, they were with guns on streets and they have created all this hooliganism. Why not those who did not want these processions and continuously are saying, see, we have given you permission. See, we have given you permission. So there is a huge political scandal which is behind this. And your lordships, my humble and last prayer before your lordship is, we have seen in post poll violence number of times, the court had held that the police is incapable of performing. I am not saying so, but I am saying in order to ensure that the police performs well and to bring back the confidence of the people who will be out tomorrow on the streets, saying Jai Hanuman Ji ki, there should be certain force deployment. This is all I have to submit before your Lordship. Thank you. <laughs> so, 
conversation is going to be. Order dated uh, 3rd of April 2023, which reads as follows. The agency has not signed any report. No, AG has filed a really report. Advocate General, that report is available? No. The uh, reports of Mellard? No, as per the order. Yes, it, Mellard. We had Mellard. Uh, the, in, yeah. in terms of the directions in the above order, a report has been filed by the. Chatte, uh -huh. Report on filed on behalf of the uh, Commissioner of Police, Howrah Police, Police Commissioner. From a report on behalf of the CID regarding Shippur Police Station case number 113 bar 23. Report on behalf of the Superintendent of Police, Islamabad Police Station. And report on behalf of the Commissioner of Police, Chandran Nagar Police Commissioner. The reports appear to be elaborate along with the annexures which are taken on record. And the contents of the report will be, will be examined on the next hearing date. The issue which has been brought to our notice by the learned advocates appearing for the writ petitioners, as well as the learned advocates who are granted leave to make submission before this court. Uh, uh, as And uh, after hearing the submissions of the learned advocate general, the additional solicitor general, and the learned uh, 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 council appearing for the National Investigation Agency, come on, we are of the view that certain directions are required to be issued so as to ensure that the Hanuman Jayanti to be celebrated on tomorrow, no? uh, uh, on 6th April 2026, 2023, is celebrated in a peaceful manner without any untoward incidents. The Learned Advocate General has produced before us a, cop a copy of the application which the organizer, uh, the, uh, which the uh, concerned organizing body has to submit before the police authorities pray for granting no objection certificate for conducting the meeting or rally or procession. Headquarters. Uh, Joint Commission of Police, Headquarters, Kolkata. The said uh, um, form contains 27 conditions which were perused by us. We find that the conditions should be more stringent and it, and it appears that the form is a common form for all processions, rallies and meetings. And concerning uh, and considering the fact that during the Ram Navami festival, uh, uh, several incidents had occurred in the, in the districts neighboring Kolkata. Come on. We are of the view that a more stringent and uh, uh, stringent conditions are required to be imposed. First and foremost of the same is accountability. The persons organizing the rally or procession should be made accountable and requisite amendments be made in the form. The police authorities are at liberty to restrict the number of participants in the procession so that the procession is performed with the religious flavor uh, without any political affiliations. The police shall ensure that in vantage points, barricades are erected 
and preferably a common route can be suggested can be prescribed for the procession to proceed so that uh, the police authorities will be able to control uh, the crowd and prevent any untoward incident uh, the police shall also have the, the discretion to restrict the route route considering the past events which have taken place which are very unpleasant uh, comma the police authorities are directed to conduct a route march today uh, within bracket 54 uh, to reassure the public that the police are there to safeguard their interest in areas where uh, orders of orders under section 144 of the act of uh, crpc have been promulgated comma no rally or procession should be conducted the it, it is stated by the learned advocate general that the uh, the organizations which have applied for permission to conduct the procession also would furnish um, the names of their volunteers in our considered view the volunteers uh, though may assist the police but will not be in a position to control any untoward incident so the role of the volunteer should be made minimal and the uh, full details of all the volunteers should be collected by the police and they should be given identity cards additional cctv cameras shall be installed apart from apart from videographing the vantage areas through which the processions will be uh, 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 taken through uh, it is stated by the learned advocate general that as of now more than 2000 applications have been received uh, as of now in two of the districts two of the areas in the neighboring districts uh, orders under section 144 crpc have been promulgated and we are informed that a large police force has been deployed in those areas to maintain law and order therefore considering the uh, the largeness of the issue and the and in order to uh, avoid any breach of peace come on we are of the considered view we are of the definite view that the state government should requisition the assistance of a paramilitary force from the central government in fact this was the observation this was in uh, this was more or less the observation made by the honorable division bench of this court in the case of in in wpap 258 of 2022 dated 15th june 2022 the uh, the assistance of the paramilitary force will definitely uh, help the state police in maintaining law and order apart from assuring the general public that their safety and security will be taken care um, that apart the state will will also be at liberty hmm, uh, to take appropriate action hmm, under the provisions of the west bengal uh, west bengal maintenance of public order amendment act 2017 uh, no the west bengal maintenance of public order act 1972 as amended by the west bengal maintenance of public order amendment act 2017 wherever wherever it is necessary um, the purpose the purpose and scope of the this order and direction is to is to ensure that the public are reassured assured and reassured that they will be they can be safe in their homes and they will not be affected by the riotous behavior of miscreants the registry has received a representation from an additional district and session judge diamond harbor comma south 24 bargana district the 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 learned district judge has lamented uh, learned additional district judge has lamented that he is unable to uh, um, uh, he was unable to even get 
requisite police assistance you know, uh, police assistance for his family and himself uh, whose residence is situated in rishra this aspect has also to be taken into consideration and it should be ensured that in all these districts where which have been perceived to be sensitive areas the the the, the judges of the district judiciary should be uh, in a position to freely discharge their judicial functions uh, and if there is any request made by the district judiciary uh, the for adequate police uh, help or protection to to enable them to function peacefully the same shall be provided by the state without putting any fetters hmm the go it goes without saying that if any of the local public also apprehend uh, uh, any breach of peace in their locality and if the same is brought to the notice of the police authorities they shall immediately act on such request and ensure that uh, no untoward incident occurs in their area thus the underlying principle no thus what is to be um, highlighted is that prevention is better than cure therefore the state police are required to take all steps with the assistance of the paramilitary force or any other central force to prevent any untoward incidents so that the co the so that the public are not put to jeopardy the above directions shall be scrupulously complied with Oh. the post group before that you say the learned advocate appearing for the one of the writ petitioners submitted that in in uh, which area it happened rishra in rishra where in where the uh, writing took place stones were pelted from the uh, shipu shipu stones were pelted from rooftops of the building uh, had the intelligence wing of the police department been little more vigilant comma such pre planned attacks could have easily been averted therefore the intelligence wing of the state police shall be strengthened and uh, all steps be taken to uh, to avert any such pre planned attacks or violence which may may which may be planned the above directions will shall be scrupulously followed and an action take in report be submitted on the next year your lordships okay. if just one observation can be made that ah uh, yes we wait, wait wait we forgot i note down considering the sensitivity of the problem comma this court directs that no person either a political personality or a leader or a common man shall make any statement in in public or to the media concerning the festival to be celebrated tomorrow they should desist from making such utterances your lord they are in such may responsible I, position may i make one hmm? may i make one hmm. my lord sir been pleased to direct the state to uh, seek the assistance of the parliament forces my lord sir however that under the seventh schedule the law which is made by the parliament in respect of bsf or the cisf or the crp is an independent power so they may be allowed to have a root part independently irrespective of the fact that, that you sorted it out sir that you sorted secondly secondly the report which has been filed but uh, time is too short now they will make a requisition you deploy the force secondly secondly the report which has been filed i i have we have yet to go through this so much i have been instructed to say that the home ministry has already directed the chief secretary to submit a report this has to be blood you have in consistency with this report the home ministry direction who they have submitted the report uh, the uh, uh, as we have directed the state to make a request for deployment of paramilitary forces come on the central government the concerned authority of the central government shall take expeditious steps in uh, deploying such forces since 
the festival is to be celebrated on tomorrow that is 6 4 2020 and we shall file a response to the report that the party will be done we are ready to go through sir first let something happen peacefully tomorrow we will come back my lord may i everything is there we just adjourn the matter my lord your lordship just one last just one last submission I kindly guess. goes through the report the way they are arresting people it is very very important your lordship very important my lord discrimination can you just slightly remove the mask and speak my lord our use the microphone please my lord our petition already filed my lord on a similar pair my lord maybe tagged my lord only you are not here at 12 o'clock we asked you to be here at 12 o'clock uh, your learned friend also said she wants a reputation she wants to intervene nothing you could have, we have heard everybody passed an order you come on the next hearing day we are going to be here you are going to be here. ग्रेटफुल <laughs> and you all of you give your names your lordships huh? so that your lordships our petitions have already been filed but since your lordships were uh, not no, in line towards you, you. you grateful lord so you collect all the names huh? uh, so item number 55 will not be called so it will be tagged don't as soon as they type it we'll correct and do even we'll come half an hour late uh, we'll correct and ensure it's up what is the time sir you can you can go and type and somebody else can come yes sir my lord only one thing my lord once the requisition is given my lord the deployment etc will immediately be... immediately yes. yes and my lord wherever my lord the state my lord authorities want them deployed my lord that should be my lord that they will discuss yes. both the command we have the office of the inspector general of crpf they, they, they will coordinate out. they are all very they, they will coordinate they will coordinate from the other states you, you you have to ask other air code to come then only we can Now, oh, seriously, we come to item ten. Yes, great for that. Appellant said Delhi is serial number ten. Yes, ma'am. Lord, I appear for the appellant in item number ten. Lord, this is an appeal hmm. from an order passed by the late by Mr. Nair. Honorable Red Court, my lord, dismissing my prayer for compensation. Lord, I intend to move the appeal today, my lord. But the difficulty is, I have to take some instructions from the client, my lord. If a lordship wants, I can proceed with the matter. But my lord, there are some material instructions which I need. What to is the uh, tortious claim? Is it compensation for what? Compensation, my lord, regarding the illegal disconnection of the electricity. It has been confirmed in three stages. That is the RGRO, the Ombudsman, as well as the Red Court. My lord, all the three forums have held that the disconnection of my electricity. was not in accordance with law the petitioners are septuagenarian people my lord there are more than they are aged 70 years and plus they were made to run from pillar to post for a continuous period of 4 years and thereafter the reconnection was given and my lord the claim today as on as on date is my lord refusal on account of the ombudsman because my lord ombudsman refused my claim for compensation thereafter i preferred a writ mm. Red court, my lord, also denied my claim for compensation. On what ground it was rejected? My lord, uh, my lord, the red court has held that, my lord, that I have approached the court. My lord, the, it's a, it's a very, uh, it's a arguable fact. The point of law that the red court and the ombudsman has held that the due date to claim compensation is on the date when the claim crystallizes. That this was my stand. But my lord, the stand of the learned red court was the date to claim compensation was the date on which the reconnection, uh, on which. Um, the disconnection happened that was 4 years ago my lord now no, now the now the you, not just one no no reconnection was granted based on court orders reconnection was granted based on the ombudsman's order not on the court's order 
so your reconnection was already given before i approached the red code but your uh, claim for compensation will arise only from that date from the date of reconnection my lord what the learned red code uh, the learned the honorable red code has held my lord that the claim for compensation arises when the date of disconnection happened so my lord this is the point of law which i want to state my lord and you know, it's a very technical thing my lord mm-hmm. and what what the learned red code has done my lord it has passed two orders on in a different matter obviously in my in lord in a different red petition the learned red code has held the correct proposition which your lordship had just stated it to me that the date to claim compensation will arise from the date but uh, the red code has referred to some clause 15. clause 15.0 my lord my lord i believe right, that particular notification you get some uh, that particular notification is not with you my lord I believe, so Milad, I need to I make have, copies. I have annexed that copy in my affidavit in opposition. I have annexed okay. Milad. No, he. I wants, just need to he, take Milad some that, material instructions, Milad. That's the point issue. But I have also annexed. I have supplied a copy. All right. He wants some time yes, accommodation. We'll accommodate. But only. And Milad, I want one point. Ha- I want to clarify, Milad, sir, that disconnection fourteen, <coughs> restoration in eighteen, and he approves you no know, thereafter. Therefore, court held when ninety days is the bar from the date of disconnection. Because your right to have compensation arises, there we have to approach within ninety days. If you do not do that, the law bars him from making any claim for compensation. But uh, I the, shall satisfy him that we have approved. But the fact remains, this can a reconnection took place only after four years. After, four years, after yes, sir. Reconnection because he has complied the blood payment. The for non-payment of due right. was done. That the was, non-payment issue was uh, adjudicated. Ultimately, the ombudsman held in his favor. No, no, no. Yes, my lord. The ombudsman held in my favor. The red code also held in my favor. Compensation part was rejected by RGRO. We are not, not on compensation part. Disconnection. We are on the disconnection part. My lord. Fourteen disconnection, reconnection in eighteen. Eighteen. Yes, my lord. Based on the orders of ombudsman. Yes, my lord. Subject to payment. He complied the order by making payment. Then restoration was done lord. by RGRO. Not be much money. When my learned friend is telling on the okay. merits, I shall also address on the merits. The learned, uh, I will advocate for the appellant, adjourned. Whatever date you want, you take. Not any date, my lord. Your lord. You tell the date, sir. Not next week, my lord. Sir. All right, next week you give a date. <laughs> next. Date table. Serial number eleven. Late, late in the May because he is not willing today. Late it. Uh, no, 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 no. Not in the May, my lord. Place. No, my lord. I, I will do it on the next week. I will not be. If you are not willing to argue on that day, we will see. <laughs> Get fullers. You leave that to the discretion of the court, sir. You don't say. Get fullers. Uh, then uh, from tomorrow onwards, all matters will go to June monthly list. I am much out. obliged, my lord. Much obliged. So you know, Grateful. Please. For that, is no, 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 no. What is this matter? But I beg to appear for the respondent writ petitioner. Hmm. This is my maiden appearance before the honourable acting chief justice. Hmm. But uh, who, how, how you are opposed? Appellant is not here. Probably he thought it won't reach. You no, know, that that ah, yes, was yes. going on. Yes, yes, yes. Asun sir, Asun sir. I don't put it. No problem. Will not the appeal? The appeal has to be heard out. Will not all papers are here. Okay, we will fix a date. A paper book has to be prepared. Any date will not Lord Ships gives me will not. Any date. But how how much time you'll. Take for the paper book to be made ready. Two weeks, okay. only two weeks, Milad. Milad, a return of bank guarantee in a writ petition, very short point. Whether it can be done. Uh, the uh, learned advocates appearing on either side submitted that the appeal has to be heard. They let the paper book be made ready and filed within a period of two weeks. This is the matter in the monthly list of May. Monthly Next. list of May or it will be better, Milad, if it just after summer vacation. Or she will keep it in May, Milad. No difficulty. Milad. Yeah, May we will have only two weeks. Yes, that's why I'm ready. Date, Milad, she gives me because it will not take June. much time. June. Next. Serial number twelve. Milad, uh, we have to very cautious now appearing before the court. Why? Milad, uh, we have been shown, Milad. In no, no. Show. You will become. You are known all India. No, that is my lord. Prohibition in the Advocates Act. You cannot advertise yourself. No, no, this is not advertising. That is not advertising. I am subtang si paso appearing in a court that has been seen by that the. He is inter- always there, my no, lord. No. He is known this all. This is India. really an open court. My lord, I don't know, my lord. Does the we are not accustomed to show that say something new. That is always there, my lord. He is known all India. Abar, without you too. Wait. Yes. My lord, I beg to appear on behalf of the appellant applicant, my lord, led by Mr. Shyam Sinha. 
Well, due to some personal it. difficulties, he's not in a position to come to he's court. He's not able to come. I'm praying for not this. I want to ask you that. And freezing of bank account. Yes, my lord. And writ petition was filed for that. But how writ is maintainable? My lord, my senior will apprise my lord with my lord, Kindly have a look at page two of the impugned order, my lord. Last paragraph. Indeed, on the question of alternate remedy, there is serious doubt as to whether court can at all entertain writ petition, as to whether herein can get benefit that is a result of a pending. So cannot be without calling for a. Then, Lord, and now, who has who has uh, passed the order freezing the bank account? My Lord, Mr. CBA. No. No, no. CID, my Lord. But I'll tell you, Lord Shri, what happened, my Lord. My Lord, here, my Lord, the CID, my Lord, was conducting an investigation, mm. uh, which my Lord, as per my Lord. Uh, in another public interest litigation, my lord, in WPAP 493 of 2022, which is pending adjudication before your lordships, my lord. My lord, here, my lord, the allegation was, my lord, that a parallel investigation is being conducted by the CID in respect of the cattle scam cases, which is being already conducted by the CBI. Now, on that, that score, my lord, there was an interim order, my lord, which was passed. If my lord kindly takes pain to come to page 117 of the stay application. Mm. But the order has been annexed. And if my lord kindly takes my lord uh, internal page 4 of the order at page 120, hmm. and I'll just place the relevant portion, states that we have heard the learned counsel for the parties and on perusal of the record, we are of the opinion that till the respective stand of the parties comes on record in the form of affidavit, it would not be proper to permit the state investigating agency to enter into the field in which the central investigating agency is already investigating. Hence, we direct that the state investigating agency on the plea of investigating the offences relating to RC case number 19 of 2020 will not enter into the subject matter and connected field of investigation being conducted by the CBI in FIR being RC case number such and such and will ensure unhampered investigation by the CBI. Now, my lord, this particular case, my lord, affidavits have been exchanged, my lord. We, my lord, on behalf of the CBI, my lord, we have already disclosed our stand, my lord, hmm. that we are ready and willing to take over these particular investigations because according to us, my lord, but this hits directly, my lord, on the investigation, my lord, that is being conducted by the CBI. No, what now, is... my lord, at the interact of, my lord, what happened, my lord, there was a freezing, my lord, of this bank account by the CID. And my lord, this, uh, the appellants here, my lord, they came up by way of filing a writ application. Now, it was, my lord, the interim order was refused. Thereafter, my lord, they went up in appeal. If my lord kindly takes pain, my lord, to take the first order, my lord, passed in appeal, my lord, during the vacation uh, by the division bench presided over by the Honorable Justice Joy Mallo Bakshi. So his lordship was of the opinion, or it is there in your lordship's file, my lord, the order. I'll just give the date of the order. It's uh, 13th of October, my lord, 2022. But I'll just place the order. It's not a very longish oh, order. Yes. yes. Mr. Dottu Learned Senior Counsel submits that the impugned directions for freezing of bank accounts of the appellant is contrary to the order passed by a bench presided over by the Honorable Chief Justice in WPAP 22498 of 2022, the order that I last referred to. We find that the freezing orders were passed by the investigating agency on September 12, 2022, whereas the order restraining the investigation process was passed on 27 September 2022. As the freezing orders had preceded the stay on investigation, no order be passed at present. Let the matter appear before the regular bench immediately after the puja vacation. Now, thereafter, my lord, the matter was taken up on a number of occasions. It has been adjourned, my lord, in view of the fact, my lord, that the main matter, my lord, the public interest litigation wherein this particular interim order was passed, my lord, that is pending, my lord. But the larger issue is, the writ is maintainable against this order, against the freezing of a bank account. Yes, my lord. The investigation is going on. Who has to investigate? That's a different dispute. Let the, let whether the CID has to do it or CBI has to do it. That's a different matter. Some orders have been passed. But what? Uh, how a writ is maintainable? 
My Lord, can we make it not today, my Lord, Mr. Shomo Jindar is appearing in this matter, my Lord. He's engaged in some of the questions. Sharan Sena, Paul. Shomo but uh, till date cba is not uh, taken over the negotiation but well, that is one of the subject well, that, that is to be decided by well, in the public interest litigation the public interest litigation is running in your lordship's list it is appearing as item number 559 in the monthly list of your lordship so till now cba is not taken over so therefore cad is freezing will continue we have filed a can application in that regard, my lord, for defreezing the bank accounts. Let the uh, account be frozen. You don't do anything. My lord, my can application is pending in that regard, my lord. Please. May I just suggest this, my lord? May this be taken up, my lord, after a decision, my lord, in that particular matter, in the parent matter. That is the parent matter. That will decide everything. And our stand is there, but, Manu. Uh, he is handicapped. His senior is not there. Yes, my lord. My can application is in that regard only for defreezing the bank accounts. All right, not today. Wait for me. Yes. <coughs> But I'm privileged to have my maiden appearance before my Lord Acting Chief Honorable Chief, Chief Justice. But I uh, uh, take the opportunity to address on behalf of the private respondents. There was a previous order, my Lord, this uh, appeal is barred by limitation. Hmm. And your Lordship will be pleased to see the explanations. My appeal, my appeal. No, I only as indicate this is my duty. My appeal, being my Lord appeal officer. Make submission, my Lord. Well, I led by Mr. Doctor today, he's not here. Anyway, my Lord, I am making submission. But this Section 5 application, 107 days delay. The portal is a sensitive issue. The matter was placed before various... Uh, you are opposing the... Delay. 107 I'm days. Because, 107 no. days. Malad, 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 the, Malad, the level and Malad, the number of delays Malad, may, at, could not be fatal at any point of time. There is a plethora of judgments. It is the explanation. Malad, even a one-day explanation could be well made. Even a thousand days explanation could not. Right. The yes. explanation that is given Malad, is a red tape in theory. Oh, Red typism theory. Because it's a government institution, so various tables are to be covered, various decisions are to be taken, various approval. And starting from 2012, in the, in the report of the Postmaster General, including 2020, the Honorable Supreme Court had deprecated if this theory be applied, then no mercy, no condemnation of delay. That is my point, Mullard. I am covered with three judgments of the Honorable Supreme Court. Your lordships are well aware of the fact. And that is my only point. I do not say whether it is 107 or one day or 1007 days delay. And that is the point if your lordship kindly takes up. Mullard, the uh, delay petition, Mullard, section 5. Mullard, other than this down, Mullard, nothing has been said. So kindly comes to paragraph 13. Uh, uh, I'm extremely sorry, Mullard. Uh, uh, this is Miller, something your lordship will be pleased to find from paragraph 20. No, third, third page, starting from paragraph 13. Very well, Miller, my, my learned uh, friend from the other side, Miller, wants to show you lordship from paragraph 13. Lordship, kindly have a look from paragraph 13. Yes. The para 23 is the moot. Yes. That may be considered. The petitioner humbly submit that the petitioner is a statutory body constituted under the provisions of Major Portress Authorities Act 2021. It's, it's a, something wrong, but anyway, it's statutory. It is under control of the central government. Any decision to file any appeal has to be routed through different office of the petitioner and the file has to be placed before the various authorities for the approval. So this is the ground. It cannot sustain. And you give those uh, one of those decisions, Lord, la latest decision. Lord, so latest one. Latest one. 2020. See, judgment in 2020, volume 10, Supreme Court. Case. 
each and every day i have explained each and every day but it is not a matter of explanation it is a matter of giving me alert all right we'll consider we'll alert consider. Malad, this is 2020, Volume 10, yes. Supreme Court Cases, page 654. Malad, it follows from the Postmaster General Decision. 2020. Malad, reported in 2012, Volume 3, Supreme Court Cases, page 563. Malad, may kindly comes to Malad, the background of the case at paragraph 3. Here, the Supreme Court says, Malad, this is a, there is no difference between a crown and its people. Correct. If the law is uh, one for the people, then it's similar for the crown. Merely because I am a government institution, my Lord, I cannot get any favoritism, and that cannot be a ground for delay. This red tape is in theory, my Lord, has been deprecated, my Lord, in a stringent manner, my Lord, by the Honorable Supreme Court in 2020, Volume 10, Supreme Court, page 654, Para 3. No doubt, some leeway is given to the government in efficiencies. But the said part is that the but the said part is that the authorities keep on relying on judicial pronouncement for a period of time when technology had not advanced and a greater leeway was given to the government. Quote unquote Lao versus Katiji. The position is more than elucidated by the judgment of this court in Postmaster General that I have now just referred. Where Miller para 27 and para 28 was quoted. It is not in dispute that the persons concerned were well aware or conversant with the issues involved, including the prescribed period of limitation for taking up the matter by way of a filing a special petition in this court. They cannot claim that they have a separate period of limitation when the department was possessed with competent person familiar with the court proceedings. In the absence of plausible and acceptable explanation, we are posing a question why the delay is to be condoned mechanically, merely because the government or the wing of the government is a party before us. Now, Lordship, kindly, I do not uh, uh, need to travel to Lordship from to go through para 28 and 29. It is just nothing but to follow up. Now, kindly comes to uh, para 30 in the same postmaster general decision. Considering the fact there was no proper explanation offered by the department for the delay, except mentioning of various dates, according to us, the department has miserably failed to give any acceptable and cogent reason sufficient to condone such a huge deal. Now, eight years hence, the said judgment is still unheeded. Para, para 3, Miller, the last sentence. Para 4, a reading of the aforesaid application shows that the reasons for such an inordinate delay is stated to be only due to unavailability of the documents and the persons of arranging the documents. In Para 4, a reference has been made to, quote unquote, bureaucrat process works. It is inadvertent that the delay occurs. The same thing, same, Miller, nothing more, no, 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 Miller, uh, better explanations. Para 5. A preposterous proposition is sought to be propounded that if there is some merit in the case, the period of delay is to be given a go-by. If a case is too good on merits, it will succeed in any case. It is really a bar of limitation which can even shut out good cases. So, Miller, the Supreme Court has also considered that merely because of the ground, what Miller, the previously the High Courts and the Honorable Supreme Court considered, that merely because they had some merit, but so the delay, delay petition will be ignored. That cannot be. This does not, of course, take away the jurisdiction of the court in appropriate cases. Now, what is this is an appropriate case. In a similar fashion, Miller, they say this is a, from rounding the table, we, we had to take a time and because of we are government. Six, we are also of the view that the aforesaid approach is being adopted by what we have categorized earlier as quote unquote certificate cases. The object appears. Now, Miller, kindly skip over six, seven lines from the last Miller, seven lines uh, from right hand side. The irony is that. In none of the cases, any action is taken against the officer who sit on the files and do nothing. Have you lost got whether it is presumed that this court will condone the delay and even in making submission, straight away the counsel appear to address on merits without referring even to as the aspect of limitation as happened in this case till we pointed out to the counsel that he must first address us on the question of limitation. And ultimately, Miller, in paragraph eight, Looking on the next page, looking to the period of delay and casual manner in which the application has been awarded is awarded, we consider appropriate to impose cause such and such to be imposed such and such. And ultimately, the special leave petition was dismissed even on the ground of limitation. Now, Miller, the next judgment, which immediately passed Miller, uh, after this, was reported in 2020, volume 10, Supreme Court cases, page 657. 
the previous report was on october 15 2020 this report was on october 27 2020 precisely followed mallor this judgment 2012 3 ssc kind of comes to <laughs> paragraph 1 you'll also maybe uh, 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 consider mallor the facts the state of madhya pradesh continues to do the same thing again and again and the conduct seems to be incorrigible the special litigation has been passed such and such now para 3 we consider it appropriate to direct the chief secretary of the state of madhya pradesh to look into the aspect of revamping the legal department as it appears that the department is unable to appeal files to file appeals within any reasonable period of time much less within the limitation this kind of excuses as already recorded in the aforesaid order are no more admissible in view of the judgment reported in postmaster general now this postmaster general was relied in 2020 the previous judgment also followed in the later judgment <laughs> I'm, i'm sorry we have expressed our concern that these kinds of cases are only certificate cases such and such now mother next also the looking in the period of delay and the casual manner in which the application has been has been worded uh, the waste of judicial time so mallor if your lordship mallor looks into from paragraph 13 onwards mallor the question of giving any explanation and how mallor these explanations are mallor afforded the ultimate cause that's being shown to your lordship this is since we are a government concern so we must take some leave away from the court and it can be construed as an admission and at for all times mallor admitted to be considered that since we being offered our application on behalf of the government whatever be the limitation it has to be condoned this cannot be mallor there is no more better explanation and by way of a reply it is a settled law mallor they cannot improve what they have been they have stated in their application and other than para 23 if a lordship see mallor oh, the averments are from para 12 12 we went through it and yes. the main point is that para 23 we have heard the learned advocates for the parties there is a delay of 107 days in filing the appeal the in the affidavit filed in support of the condoned delay application it has been stated that the order impugned was passed by the single bench on 22nd august 2022 and thereafter the advocate for the petitioner communicated the same communicated the order to the chief law officer of the appellant by email date on the very same day that is 22 8 after obtaining the server copy of the order uh, the advocate for the appellant forwarded the same to the concerned officer of the first appellant by email dated 25 8 thereafter by email dated 6 9 the concerned department sought advice of the chief law officer on uh, on uh, the aspect as to whether appeal has to be preferred against uh, the order passed in the writ petition huh? uh, more particularly certain other observations made in this edit thereafter the chief law officer by email dated 69 2022 at about 4 44 pm requested the learned advocate to for a early discussion in the matter the advocate fixed a conference in the matter uh, on 28th september 28 9 2022 20, in the meantime the advocate applied for the certificate copy of the order on 15 9 2022 the concerned officers of the appellant held a conference with the advocate learned advocate on 28 9 2022 um so on thereafter the the court was closed for puja vacation from 1 10 2022 to 30 10 2022 it is stated that the advocate for the appellant was out of station during vacation and during the vacation the appellant by email dated 18 10 2022 instructed the learned advocate to prepare an appeal against the order passed in the writ petition uh, the advocate drafted the appeal and the stay application on 2 11 thereafter instruction was given to engage a senior counsel uh, so to settle the draft and the senior counsel fixed a conference on 12 11 and thereafter the concerned department supplied all the documents hmm? on 16 11 2022 and the draft was settled by the senior counsel on 21 11 2022 the same they said draft memorandum of appeal and the stay application was forwarded 
on 21-11-22 for its approval of the concerned department. Thereafter, the learned advocate for the appellant received the draft memo of appeal and stay application, duly approved by the concerned department of the first appellant on or about 12-12-2022. And after, after the draft was approved by the learned advocate, the appeal was filed on 13-12-2022. In this process, the appellant would contend that 107 days of delay has occurred, which was beyond the control of the appellant. Further, it is submitted that the appellant is a statutory body constituted under the provisions of the Major Port, Port Authorities Act 2021 and is under the control of the central government. And any decision to file an appeal has to be routed through different offices of the appellant and the file has to be placed before various authorities for their approval. Therefore, it is contended that the delay is unintentional and cost on account of certain factors which are beyond the control of the appellant. The learner, the, with the above submission, the learned advocate appearing for the appellant sought for condemnation of the delay. The learned uh, advocate appearing for the respondent repetitioner vehemently opposed. I am the, not the repetitioner, I am the respondent private respondent. Private respondent. Uh, appellant, sorry, uh, the respondent uh, who was a private respondent's repetition vehemently opposed the prayer for condemnation of the delay, contending that that uh, all the governments set out in the affidavit uh, are clear, uh, clearly show red tapeism and bureaucratic approach, and merely because the um, the appellant is a statutory body under the control of central government, comma, the uh, law of limitation cannot be relaxed for the appellant. In support of his contention, Reliance was placed on the decision of the Honorable Supreme Court in State of Madhya Pradesh and others versus Berulal, 2020 10 SEC 654, and State of Madhya Pradesh and others versus Chaitram Me Mevat, 2020 10 SEC 667. After we have elaborately heard the learned advocates for the parties and carefully perused the materials on record, Come on. We need to point out that the law on the subject has been well settled. In the recent decision, in the case of the Honorable Supreme Court in Berulal, the earlier decision on the point, uh, uh, on the issue, namely the decision uh, of the Honorable Supreme Court in LAO versus Kaji, 1987, 2 ACC 107, and the decision in Postmaster General versus Living Media India Limited, 2012, 3 SEC 563 were referred to. And it was pointed out that that uh, that uh, the uh, and uh, not part of, and considering the governments uh, uh, pleaded by the state of Madhya Pradesh before the um, uh, Honorable Supreme Court stating that the delay was due to unavailability of documents and the process of arranging the documents hmm, uh, uh, was held to be uh, a preposterous proposition. Uh, and uh, the court and uh, and um, and the court made very strong observations against the manner in which the officers were sitting on the files and doing nothing. And ultimately, the appeal was, the specialty petition was dismissed by imposing cost of cost. They said the, the, the decision in Berulal was referred to in Chaitra Mahadeva. And uh, the court adopted a similar, the, and the Honorable Supreme Court adopted a similar approach and dismissed the appeal, uh, uh, imposing cost of rupees, uh, imposing cost. Uh, the uh, it is a settled legal principle that the law of limitation has been enacted not with an intention to defeat the rights of parties. And it has all and courts have always taken uh, always taken note of the distinction where uh, by uh, taking note of the conduct of the parties uh, as to uh, while conduct of the parties while considering whether, a delay has to be condoned or not. The Honorable Supreme Court in the case of Berulal was considering a case where the delay 
was 663 days uh, in an appeal filed by the state of Maharashtra. The reasons uh, uh, given in the by the appellant therein was examined, and all that they were they had stated was the documents were unavailable, and there was and the documents were to be arranged. Similar was the stand taken by the uh, state of Madhya Pradesh in Chaitram Mewadi, where the delay was 588 days. Uh, under normal circumstances, none stands to benefit by lodging an appeal belatedly. There may be cases where, on account of certain malafide reasons, the appeals are lodged belatedly, and those cases have to be dealt with firmly and no indulgence has to be shown in such cases. In the case on hand, there is a delay of 107 days in filing the appeal. In the preceding paragraphs, we have set out the reasons given by the appellant for not able to prefer the appeal within the period of limitation. On going through the reasons, we find that the reasons cannot be uh, wholly brushed aside as, as being a as being uh, 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 a, a clear, uh, as being only a bureaucratic process. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, from the relevant dates and events, it is seen that the appellant has been earnestly following up the matter and, uh, uh, and ultimately the appeal was lodged. In, in Berulal, uh, Berulal, the Honorable Supreme Court, in paragraph 5 of the order, uh, has pointed out that, uh, that it is really a bar of limitation which can even shut out good cases. And this does not, of course, take away the jurisdiction of the court in an appropriate case to condone the delay. Therefore, we are required to examine as to whether the case on hand was an appropriate case. On going through the facts and circumstances pleaded by the appellant, we find this to be an appropriate case, and we do not find, uh, uh, and uh, and in the absence of any malafides alleged against the appellant for lodging the appeal with a delay of 107 days, comma, we are of the view that discretion has to be exercised in this case, and the delay in filing has to be condoned. Accordingly, the application. Uh, in CAN 2 of 2022 is allowed and the delay in filing the appeal is condoned. Thank you. My Lord, uh, my another application is there, my Lord. For what? For stay and injunction? That we will hear separately. That will my Lord, appear tomorrow, my Lord. No, no, not tomorrow. First, we will sign this order. Sorry to hold your lordship even during the recess no, last time. My Lord, I, I have filed my affidavit in reply, maybe kept in record. Uh, in the section. It's always I pleasure to hear advocates. I'm sorry, man. Pleasure to hear all of you too. It's, it's always similar. Man. Happy to be in equally privileged for us. Thank you. Malada, is it a lordship a desire to keep the matter any post? You'll give a date. Give some date. Very deeply on it. Great. 
May I just seek one indulgence? My Lord, I made a mistake when I said 2000. My Lord, it's 160. My Lord, a WhatsApp had come to me, which I had not noticed during, my Lord, the arguments. That's the only, my Lord, uh, because your Lordships dictated it. My Lord, in open court, my Lord, I didn't bring it. I just wanted to apologize. For no, no, state of West Bengal. Entirety for the state of West. My Lord, I thought, my Lord, I'd indicate that. Because otherwise, my Lord. Because that order is yet to come. We are waiting for that. We have to transcribe it. We have to correct it. My Lord, kindly, my Lord. It will be. Ask the air court. As soon as it's ready, let them inform. No, I will go to chamber. And... I'm grateful, my Lord. I'd inform, my Lord, the writ petitioners and my Lord, uh, Mr. Billodol Bhattacharya that I'll be mentioning. I crave, Your Lordship, I crave leave to mention a matter on the original side, Your Lordship. Mm. Your Lordship, uh, we seek, my Lord, we seek indulgence, Your Lordship, to file an appeal, Your Lordship, using the uh, affirmed Vakalat Nama and the uh, affidavit of competency, which has been notarized, uh, which has been affirmed by a notary public in Bombay, uh, Your Lordship. And uh, furthermore, Your Lordship, another, another indulgence is sought in the matter. What had transpired, Your Lordship, was that the order of the tribunal was passed by the Delhi bench. The appeal, Your Lordship, was filed before the Honorable Delhi High Court within the period of limitation. Mm. Your Lordship, subsequently in 2023, a decision of the Honorable Supreme Court has come in Balak Capital, where under the appeal would have to be filed in the Honorable High Court under Section 260A, where the assessing officer is situated and not where the bench of the tribunal is situated. Accordingly, Your Lordship, we had to withdraw the appeal before, uh, which was pending before the Honorable Delhi High Court and leave has been granted to us to prefer the appeal within eight but weeks. But you file a section five. Your Lordship, you, you uh, file, technically you need to file. We'll condone it. My, because my only uh, indulgence, Your Lordship, was that under section 14 of the Limitation Act, that period that was spent before prosecuting the matter before the wrong forum. Wrong forum would have but to be excluded. We'll pass an order in that. But should we have the application also ready? Wherein your lordship we have Yes, yes, leave granted you file all the applications. My Lord. I am grateful, Your Lordship. My Lord, I'd like to mention a matter to file uh, without the certified copy. Date of order. Uh, my Lord, there are three matters. One matters thirty first of March and two matters twenty-fourth of March. Twenty third of March. Leave grant. Grateful, Your Lordship. Anjan. Anjan. What is this uh, specially assigned matter? Pila. That is, it was released by Justice Basak Division. It has to be shown down. Then we can take the convenience of advocates. Huh? Oh. One day you place it on top, uh, then let them appear. I just seeing the list, what is especially a sign? What is a list of matter? New application item number one. Please, Lord. Yes. My application, Lord, the service, my Lord, is not complete, my Lord. We have sent, hmm. Lord, but uh, it has not, my Lord, okay. it's not conclusive. Uh, Lord, one I... more indulgence, my Lord, Lordship will kindly grant me leave, my Lord, to use a supplementary affidavit, my Lord, to the application, my Lord, which we have filed seeking condonation of delay. Lord, there are certain facts, my Lord, which, which should have then been. Then you Lord... need to put them on note. Yes, yes. We'll, we'll, we'll serve the supplementary also, my Lord, on them, but because okay. this has been sent only. We have heard Mr. Omnara and Rai and Soman, but. Uh, for this also, leave granted to file supplementary after it. Let the matter be listed after notice is served on the respondent. Us. Great. Item number two. My Lord, I am not ready. My Lord, uh, you are also not served. My Lord, sir, it refused. My Lord, what is this? One thousand four. When you start. Yes, but there is a. We have heard Mr. Amit Sharma, learned uh, senior standing uh, standing counsel for the appellant. Notice and uh, sent to the respondent has been refused to be received. Then uh, that uh, Swati Bajaj. Malad, this is not penny stock matter. No, this, this is, is not, no, 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 Malad. Ah. 
this is not penny stock my lord this is an interesting case my lord mm. where the conversion of company to llp mm. has been used for tax evasion my lord the transfer but what is the explanation for 1000 for my lord that is there uh, that is hurdle for me there is a delay of 1497 days in filing the appeal the perus affidavit filed in support of the petition and we find sufficient cause has not been shown for preferring the appeal within the period of limitation in supplication dismissed consequently appeal stands rejected my lord sir, substantial question of law is kept substantial open. questions of law suggested are left open i'm grateful sir and number 3 i am appearing for the appeal lord lord sir return back with a remark refused well, this is a penny stock matter my lord delay of 1320 days you have okay. heard mr prithu doria and at senior standing council for the appellant notice sent to the respondent has been refused to be received then swati bhajan this was 13200 question law left open great next at number 4 4 milord i appeal for the appellant notice lord served. milord notice milord was sent milord it has returned and served with the postal endorsement lord the assc could not be located how oh, come <laughs> if you can't locate the assc <laughs> who else under the sun can locate the assc lord <laughs> the postal department lord cannot do that all right fresh notice to the respondent uh, to the correct address and also uh, and the appeal and department is given liberty respondent assc in person hmm? as well as through the registered email id मित्रो Learned uh, uh, Sandy Council for the Appellant and Sapna Das Siddhartha Advocates so also. There is a delay of Nine same days. same order you can yes. pass. Malat, uh, may I only indicate, Malat, on the last occasion the name of the SSC has been wrongly printed in the order sheet. Malat, that is at twenty ninth of March twenty twenty three. The last time Malat had taken up this matter, the name of the SSC Malat should have been uh, Sri Rakesh Agarwal instead of Electro Steel Casting. The, in the order dated. 29th March 2023. The name of the SSC has been wrongly printed. The said uh, defect be rectified. <laughs> And this order shall form part of the order dated. Next, I am grateful, Manav. Application Arjun Act Number Six. Well, in this matter, Mr. Shaujit Rajju, this is one of the leading me, Mr. Manav. Pray pray for one day accommodation, Mr. Shri. Let it be, Mr. Monday. Monday. Yes. Monday. At the request of so heard so and so so and so, request of the advocate for the appellant. Monday. On a deep low place. Item number eight. And for the respondent in this matter, my lord. Chief, I appear for the appellant, Lord Chief. Lord Chief, pleadings are completed. I have served the affidavit. In opposition, it has been handed over. The point that we have urged before, Lord Chief, is that. When an appeal against an one forty three three proceeding is pending before the tribunal, can the authorities start a re uh, reassess start a proceeding for reassessing my income, Lord Chief? Lord Chief, I am led by Mr. Bag. Yes, may please, my lords. My lord, there are three fold submissions which I will make in the matter. Hmm. the facts are thus milord there was an assessment under 14333 hmm. issue substantially decided in the proceeding i'll take you lordship to that portion that we filed an appeal the appeal is pending in the 14333 proceeding hmm. there was an allegation that the purchases were more than 82 and half crores hmm. around 10 crores were were in dispute that was milord not allowed the balance amount was not touched from there we preferred an appeal 
where we indicated that all these documents, the accounts we have made over in the course of the proceeding, that appeal is pending. In the meantime, Milo, there's a notice under 148 A.B. seeking to reassess the proceeding for the same year, where in allegation is the fact that two of the accounts, there have been cash deposits of a few crores, much, much less than what the purchases were. Now, my broad submissions, the threefold submissions are, first, whether it amounts to a change of opinion. I'll show from the records that it, it tantamounts to change of opinion. Next, when there is an appeal pending, the assessment has not attained finality. At that stage, can a fresh notice under 148A B be issued on the SSE? And the third is from the records, it is evident that there is no independent application of mine by the assessing officer. There I am covered by a Gujarat High Court judgment in Alliance Filaments, where it is held that merely on the recording that there is a information which has been received by the revenue authorities, they cannot proceed. And my case is on a better footing because I'll show from but, the... Uh, was this objection raised uh, in response to the 148AB notice? No, my lord. I have to be fair to the Honorable Court. It was not raised. The objection was only on the ground of change of opinion. And wh what is the order passed? Let us see what is the reason given by him, page 59. My Lord. Lord, page 65 is the complete order. Page 59 is a part of the order. And that has been handed over again, handed over again to us, indicating that the entire order was not made over. For a technical difficulty, kindly see page 65. They have only held that information was received and it was gone through. It was observed that the information, considering all the aspects related to the cash deposits under information, concluded that we the SAC company. We will send it back. You raised this question of jurisdiction before. But, but my humble submission Otherwise, is. Otherwise, we will non suit you here. We will say that at the earliest point of time, you have not raised it. Whatever you have raised. We no. have raised. Well, kindly no, you me. have not raised. Just know you said. No, my Lord. I have raised the point of change of opinion. Change of opinion. That we will do. But this is a more substantial ground. For the present, you succeed. My Lord. You take the order. That's the best. Otherwise. Uh, May I only, my Lord, take up five minutes of your Lordship's, my Lord, time. Take to 15 minutes also. This will be the same order. <laughs> no, Lord, I understand, my Lord, what is falling from your Lordship. No, no. That's the best. My Lord. You get a second innings. You play it safe. May I only indicate one fact, my lord, subject to my lord's kind consideration. You say that my lord. the issue pertaining to change of opinion also, my lord, on facts has not been considered. Not and sure. he says the case law cited is before 148A amendment. That is wrong. Not sure. Indeed. He says, as I see, uh, they are all the more case law cited of the, by the SSC, they are prior to the enactment of that can't be. That, that can't be, my lord. That can't Still, be. Still, Calcutta discount holds the field. Yes, my lord. And also, my lord, may yes, I my lord. may I only submit, my lord, before my learned friend starts, only, my lord, this submission kindly take up, my lord, page 35. My lord, that's the assessment order. Kindly see paragraph 3. Yes. My lord, kindly see the second line. Purchases of 82 crores, 54 lakhs. My lord, kindly see the next, my lord, page 37, paragraph 7.2. This is the last paragraph of the page at page 37. He was satisfied. Look, the first line indicates though documentary evidence like purchase bills, payments through banks have been submitted SSC by the SSC in respect of the purchases made from the remaining parties. He was not satisfied because 133 6 was not discharged. Now, Milot, kindly see the next page 7.4. Again, he records that all these books of accounts were made over in the course of the proceedings. But why I submit this is this. Milot, in issue here is the purchases made worth 82 crores. Where, my lord, 10 crores was disallowed, for which appeal is pending. Kindly take up our reply, my lord, the affidavit in reply which we have filed. The reason I indicate this is, my lord, in the reply, 23. The audited accounts start from page 9. Page 9, the audited accounts, these were all part of the records in the proceeding. Kindly take up page 17, my lord. 
I'm sorry, page 18. Page 18. This is from the audited accounts. Page 18 of what? Page 18 of the affidavit in reply, Milad, which we have filed. You filed it. Yes. It starts from page 9, Milad. And page 18 is a part of the profit and loss account for the relevant period. Can you see the first entry, Milad? The narration mm. revenue from operation. Mm. Corresponding note is note 13. Mm. The reason why I indicate this is, Milad, at page 23. Mm. Kindly take a page 23, Milord. Kindly see the note. Mm. Revenue from operation. Sales of goods. And kindly see the figure, Milord. For the period in issue, it's more than 91 crores. Mm. The basic allegation of the authorities is, Milord, during this, there are two entries in the accounts which are in cash. One of 2 crore 20 lakhs, 1 of 1 crore 11 lakhs. But when it was disclosed in the accounts, from the audited accounts, that the revenue from operations is worth 91 crores. So, Milot, this is from sale of goods. We have sold the goods, the amount has come in. These are the accounts where the amounts have come in. And now the challenge, 2 crore 20 and 1 crore 11. So, Milot, in my very humble submission, when the purchases are not an issue, and the sales have been disclosed to the authorities. This amounts to, my lord, a change of opinion. That is my humble submission. And also, my lord, the fact that when we were aggrieved by that 10 crores, which was disallowed, kindly see, my lord, the assessment order. My lord, I, I apologize for troubling your lordships, my lord, but these are, but kindly see at page 39 yes. of the main appeal, my lord, the stay petition. Mm. Your Lordship will find a disallowance of Milord 10 crores 73 lakhs. Yes. Which, um, with regard to Milord, the computation given by the SSE of 31 lakhs comes to 11 crore 5 lakhs. But kindly see the appeal. It starts from page 45. Hmm. At page 48, you know, the facts of the case. This is the seventh line from top in the middle. SSC produced details, other documents and evidences, and the same is acknowledged in the order. So these documents were already with the revenue authorities. Now, kindly see, Milot, thereafter, assessing officer called for details of documents which were all submitted by the appellant SSC. Now, this is against serial number 11. And thereafter, Milot, serial number 13, grounds of appeal for that the learned assessing officer erred in making the addition of 10 crores on the account of purchases by the appellant SSE without considering the detailed documents and explanations submitted, explanation submitted during the assessment procedure. This is my case, Milad. We have given all the details which have not been considered. Where is your reply to the 148 AB notice? Now the reply is at page 54, Milad. Milad, reply, we have taken the point. At page 55, now the second paragraph. And the last paragraph, Milord, we have indicated this is merely a change of opinion. We've indicated. So, where, where have you mentioned about the appeal? We haven't, Milord. We haven't. This is, Milord. No, against this assessment order under 143, you're on appeal. We're in appeal. But you say it is attained finality. First line of page 55. Who drafted this reply? It is not drafted by us. That is the difficulty. Milad. That is the difficulty we are facing. But Milad, on facts, also Milad, may I indicate from the email that the respondent authorities already were aware, Milad, kindly take up page 50. This is the mail correspondence, Milad, where we have indicated, kindly see at the bottom, Milad, form 35 PDF. That's the appeal which we have indicated. We have served this on the respondent authority. So they were, they were aware, Milad, of the appeal. It's true, sir. But we should have taken all these points in the reply, Milot. That is go. where the impediment lies. We should have taken, but Milot, this is this is our case, and hence it falls within the realm of the change of opinion. All right. And we have indicated change of opinion can only take place only when this was already been decided, Your Lordship. This is a totally a new information that was received by the DDIT investigation, and it reveals from the page 52, Your Lordship. 
Now the thing is that I have also used my affidavit and I have already stated, have been stated categorically in a paragraph four sub sub clause one, your lordship, affidavit in opposition that the two bank accounts maintained with the chartered bank because this particular order alone yes these two accounts doesn't these two accounts are not mentioned in their director's report to your lordship hmm. because they are uh, they are coming with the director well, one second oh, he... please take your seat
you said 150.
خیلی خونی چیز Yes, but may I hand over copies of Alliance Filaments? Mm -hmm. I'm relying on paragraphs 12 to 17, Milo. This is on the proposition, Milo, that merely receiving of information without any application of mind, independent application of mind by the assessing officer, Milo, reassessment proceedings are not permitted. Paragraphs 12 to 16, paragraphs 12 to 17, Milo. In fact, the reasons recorded Milad, are indicated in internal page four of the judgment at paragraph 2.3. Para 17 is sufficient. Para 17. This and the is. reasons recorded here, Milad, in our case, the reasons recorded are far less. Milad, here it is better. Milad, our case stands on a better footing. That Milad, is my humble subject. Russia kindly takes up page 52. That is the credible information which was received from the DDIT investigation yearship. Already an inquiry was made. And section 148 AA, it speaks of that yearship that shall, before issuing any notice under section 148, conduct an inquiry if required with the prior approval of the specified authority with respect to the information which suggests that the income chargeable to tax tax has escaped assessment and this has been done and only after having that inquiry this information was passed on to the assessing officer no, with the prior this, approval this, my lord you just relied on ddit you didn't make in any inquiry independent inquiry but that was an inquiry already made your lordship that inquiry was already made and on the basis of that inquiry your lordship they have acted upon and they have asked for the details your lordship and nowhere it speaks of, of these two bank accounts, your lordship, these two accounts maintained with the standard chartered. It's not there in the director's report. Now they are simply they are coming up with a different case and they're saying it's a, no, it's it's a, a totally course, it's new a information. He's pleading now. He's, he said the DDIT cannot say uh, how the assessment should be completed. He can't direct the AO 
you do it in such a fashion he is an independent author he is an independent author he can give his information then he will enquire into it satisfy himself that it's a case for reopening then issue notice yes and that has been done in this case also my lord all these grounds they have not raised in their reply the most important issue is when the 1433 yes my lord is an appeal before the commissioner but that is not the subject matter of the appeal your lordship because if your lordship kindly sees the grounds of the appeal that the 10 crores doesn't relate with this because they are coming with us the two different um, uh, uh, the cash deposits with the two accounts maintained with this uh, standard no, chartered uh, bank my lord bill was relating to addition of 10 crores 73 lakhs yes and they are saying it is embedded but they have to that come we, the onus lies on them to show that it is embedded that's why he said uh, showed that the, is why the a fit if it in reply but where we have indicated the auditor's account that but this is from operation but why you didn't raise any of these grounds that is the difficulty my lord totally they were it's totally an impediment silent, we are facing my lord they were totally silent but you not kindly no whisper if your lordships my lord are please to take up page 52 of the state petition lord that if we may not read along with the judgment in alliance filaments internal page 4 paragraph 2.3 of the judgment and page 52 is identical identical please come this intra court appeal by the writ petition is directed against the order dated 28th november 2022 in wpo 2571 of 2022 the appellant had filed the writ petition challenging an order passed under section 148 capital a within bracket small d of the income tax act 1961 within bracket the act and the consequential notice issued under section 148 of the act the learned single bench dismissed the writ petition on the ground that uh, that the that the order has not been passed by an authority having lack of inherent jurisdiction nor the nor the order falls in the category of cases where the authority concerned has committed a patent violation of principles of natural justice <clears throat> further the learned trick court observed that the order impugned in the writ petition passed under section 148 capital a within bracket d of the act is neither a, neither a final assessment nor a demand and therefore the uh, the assessee can raise all points during the reassessment proceedings we have to test the correctness of the reasons assigned by the learned single bench and as to what relief the appellant is entitled to we have heard mr pranil bag so swita das the it's may have been may have been said the assessment under section 143 within bracket 3 of the act read with section 144 capital b of the act was completed by order dated 27th april 2021 against the said order the assessee has pref- had preferred an appeal before the commissioner appeals or should we see page 45 the date of 45. 45 before the commissioner appeals wherein they have con- they have contended that the assessing officer erred in making addition of rupees 10 comma 78 comma 18 comma 938 on account of the purchase made by the assessee without considering the detailed detailed documents and explanation submitted by the assessee during the assessment proceedings the learned advocate appearing for the appellant submitted that the very same issue is 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 the reason assigned for reopening the assessment by issuing of notice under section 148 capital a within bracket small b of the act further it is contended that the reopening of the assessment is a clear case of change of opinion apart from the fact that the assessing officer did not conduct any independent inquiry but chose to reopen the assessment solely based upon 
the report received from the ddit those such as the submission made by the learned advocate for the appellant come on in the objection slash reply filed by the ssc dated 17th march 2022 to the notice issued under section 148 capital a within bracket small b of the act none of these objections have been raised rather the ssc has stated that the assessment order dated 22nd april 2021 has attained finality when it is factually otherwise one other submission which has been made by the learned advocate for the appellant is that the addition which is now contested by the appellant before the com uh, commissioner of in commissioner of income tax within bracket appeals is the same issue for which reopening has been done and the said quantum alleged to have been uh, and the said quantum alleged to have been high value cash deposit is embedded in the amount in the addition which is being contested by the appellant before the commissioner of income tax appeals in fact this contention in don't say in fact this contention raised by the assc before us has not been pointed out in the objections filed to the reopening proceedings the only ground which was raised by the assc was that the information based on which reopening was in its reopening proceedings were initiated cannot be termed as new information in support of his contention the learned advocate for the appellant placed reliance on the decision of the high court of gujarat in alliance filaments limited versus assistant commissioner of income tax 2021 129taxman.com 109 the learned uh, senior standing counsel for the respondent uh, referred to the reasons for reopening and uh, and base and uh, submitted that cre credible information has been received from the ddit huh? um, which was informed to the assessing officer after considering all aspects all aspects relating to the cash deposits and therefore the assc therefore the assessment was rightly reopened and the objections filed by the assc were duly considered and order has been passed and the assc has to face the reassessment proceedings as pointed out earlier the issue touching the jurisdiction of the assessing officer to reopen, reopen the assessment on the perpetrated ground that appeal against the scrutiny assessment is still pending before the commission of income tax appeals is required to be considered full stop this is so because this would impinge upon the jurisdiction of the officer assessing officer to invoke section 148 ha huh? uh 148 of the act however the assessing officer did not have an occasion to do consider this point because the assc did not raise the issue nevertheless the uh, the assessing officer should have been aware that an appeal has been filed against the assessment order um that apart the contention which has been raised before us that the uh, that the uh, allegation of high value cash deposits is in fact embedded in the addition which was made by the assessing officer in the scrutiny assessment which is subject matter of appeal or has also not been raised in the objection to the reopening proceedings we, further we note the assessing the assessing officer while passing the order under section 148 capital a within bracket d dated 33 2022 has not considered any of considered the objections which are pointed out 
by the SSC. Furthermore, he committed the uh, asking officer committed a grave error in stating that the decisions relied on by the SSC cannot be taken into consideration because they are all prior to the enactment of Section 148 Capital A of the Act. The the law laid law laid down by the various decisions of the Honorable Supreme Court as to when and how an assessment can be reopened, uh, continue to hold the field, irrespective of the fact that the section has undergone an amendment. The amendment largely is procedural uh, and, prob and probably with an intention to afford better opportunity to the SSC. Therefore, such finding of the assessing officer in the order dated 33-2022 is not tenable. Considering all the above, uh, we are of the view that the, the, the uh, reassessment proceedings should be redone from the stage of the show cause notice. Uh, as the jurisdiction of the assessing officer to reopen the assessment has to be decided. And to decide the same, the SSC should raise such an objection uh, before the very same authority. Therefore, we are inclined to set aside the orders impugned to the red petition and remand the matter back to the assessing officer for a fresh consideration. In the result, the appeal is allowed. Order passed in the red petition is set aside. Consequently, the order dated 33-2022 is uh, passed under Section 148, capital A, within bracket D of the Act, is set aside. And also the consequential notice issued under Section 148 is quashed. And the matter is remanded to the assessing officer for fresh consideration. The SSC is directed to submit additional objections slash reply to the show cause notice issued by the SSC, sorry, assessing officer under section 148 capital A within bracket small b of the act within a period of 15 days from the date of receipt of the copy of this server copy of this order. Thereafter, the assessing officer shall consider the objection and afford an opportunity of hearing to the SSC, take note of the decisions which the SSC may rely upon and fresh orders be passed on merits and in accordance. Only an opportunity of hearing, no personal hearing, my lord, because they are always taking up the issue of personal and then no opportunity of hearing through video conferencing. No, no, you're only they will uh, give their uh, re a response to that. An opportunity, Don't only an opportunity, hearing. my lord, because this personal you hearing. Right. I'm so grateful. New application ID number nine. This is my appeal, my lord. Hmm. So this is a delay of hundred and only thirty three days delay, my lord. That can be condoned. Thirty three days. Thirty one days. Thirty one days. C B L R. CBLR matter. Well, what was CBLR matter, my lord? 10 D E N N. 10 D E N. D -E what is E? E is I will just D is advising. Yes, my lord. Huh? What is E? E, my lord, Ten... customs broker shall, shall exercise due diligence into ascertain the correctness of the yeah, Not only that, my lord will kindly see of any information which he imparts to a client with reference to any work related to clearing of cargo and baggage. And in that, as may be specified by the principal commissioner of customs or commissioner of or the deputy commissioner. My lord will may I read 10 E. What's the uh, the two aspects uh, are there the of broker notice under 128, under the Customs Act, whether he was one of the core notices. He was a core notice. In a different order, my lord. That's hmm. a different order. Correct. Was he a notice in that? He was a notice, my lord. Hmm? He was and penalty notice. has been imposed. No, penalty has not been uh, specifically imposed. Yes, there are 50,000. 50,000. my license. No, in this. Oh, in this. Penalty case. is being imposed here. All right. Penalty here. What about the under the Customs Act? I am not preparing the matter. I you should be aware. 
there is no whisper in the yeah, that should <laughs> you should ask your client whether he was a notice under the no show cause notice issued to the importer if there was an observation made saying that this fellow is also involved in undervaluation what is the allegation no my lord allegation is, is uh, not merely involved in Probably undervaluation i am not the i am not the notice my lord because yes. otherwise i would have what is the allegation allegation is that he has he has at the time of uh, the uh, export he has not informed anything he has not kept any details with him he has he was actively supposed to give details under 10d as well as a 10 uh, mm -hmm. e 10 e my lord will particularly see 10 e why may i read 10 e once a custom broker shall exercise due diligence to ascertain the correctness of any information which he imports which he imparts to a client with reference to any work related to clearance of cargo or baggage lord he has not done that it when search was caused at his premises it was seen that he had not maintained anything nothing was maintained <laughs> there are statements made by him my lord that is the partner talk. statement is there my lord partner statement is specifically yeah. there of becharam das who is one of the partners of this company he specifically said that i have not done anything i have not maintained anything i have not uh, i have uh, contravened section 10d 10 Ten in and ten e is ten. shall exercise due diligence. Due diligence to ascertain the correctness. He has not verified the, the correctness. Charge has been confirmed while asserting that there is in no end. evidence parted any information to their clients. Sir, tell their opponent failed to exhaustively scrutinize the document. Something Case of over valuation misclassification booked on the basis of examination of the cargo. Could not have possibly detected the document supply. Fifty-eight lakhs, and my lord will also see ten n. My lord will also see ten n. My lord, may I place ten n? A custom broker shall very. No, no. Where is the show cause notice? My lord, show cause notice has not been annexed. My lord, I'll file a compilation. My lord, you file a show cause notice reply. You find out whether any uh, action was taken under the customs act, whether he was made as a co-notice along with the. Export. I'll do that. We have heard, Mr. We won't say anything here. Yes. We'll just condone the delay. My lord. Huh? We have heard, Mr. Upul Kundalia, Manasi, Mr. Ashok Bhomik. Have, there is a delay of 31 days in filing the appeal. We have perused the affidavit filed in support of the petition and find sufficient cause has been shown for not preferring the appeal within the period of limitation. Application allowed. Delay in filing the appeal is condoned. My lord, kindly, I, I will pray for a stay till then, my lord. Why? No, so, no. Sir, otherwise he will be eligible to uh, continue with his. This has been revoked. No, no. But without any valid reason, you, you file it next week. I will file it next week. My lord, till then let there be a stay, an interim stay. Not required. So we uh, will have it on twelfth April. My lord, list on twelfth April under the same caption. Under the caption, admission for admission. My lord, my lord, till then an interim stay, my lord, because that would be in violation. You manage, you manage. He is working at your mercy, sir. My lord, my lord, they have managed. Order of tribunal passed seven months back or eight months back. They did not. No power of contempt. <laughs> they are enjoying that, yeah. They are. What All am right. I enjoying? Next, next. May it please your lordship. Mm. How am I appearing this matter? Appearing uh, for recalling the order. Yeah, your I'm, lordship. Yeah, I'm opposing this because of the fact, my lord. I would, I would only indicate your lordship. Three orders. First order was passed on 12th of December 2022. Second order was passed on 20th December 2022, and third order was passed on 8th of February 2023. All these three orders, my lord, friend was present. So, my lord, the whatever order, my lord, your lordship had Then passed. You file your. Uh, 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 what is it? If my lord direct me, I shall, I shall. <coughs> the, the, we have heard so and so, so and so. Uh, two weeks time is granted to the uh, department to file huh? um, affidavit in opposition to the application for recall. Huh? The order dated twelfth December twenty twenty two. List the matter of two weeks. 
grateful my lord well, may i pray for an indulgence sir item number 5 my lord my lord had con uh, rejected my condonation of delay application my lord kindly keep the substantial question of yes, open yes you said so uh, possibly your lord sir missed it item 5 and i have a question for this substantial question of law uh, kept open lastly i am extremely grateful man that that issue also decided by your no there is there are two three issues otherwise i would not have indicated to you to your lord sir one issue is required to be my lord kept open arun number 11 get full Yeah. Item number eleven. I am for the petitioner, my lord. My lord, I am praying for two weeks time, my lord. The council of view of this matter due to some personal reasons is not being. That's the best opportunity for you to argue. You are not ready. I am not ready, my lord. Well, I am also led by Mr. Maithi, my lord. Today he is also not present. Where is Mr. Maithi? A personal difficulty, my lord. Today. Petition is almost a four and a half years from the time of issuance of. Appears on the record at the time of moving the requisition did not grant it. To. he requested for cross examination that was permitted then the date was rescheduled on the rescheduled date no person was brought for cross examination then once again personal hearing was fixed on 28th i mean 12th february no documents given no cross examination matter over of course there is a delay uh, now the order in original has been passed my lord he brought that on record by way of a supplementary affidavit let him be heard in the matter you you already fixed a time for cross examination lord sir kindly take it uh, next week your lord sir initially in the writ petition i was not engaged but subsequently i am get mr maithi will be in a better position my lord to apprise your lord sir my lord Uh, he has requested me to pray before the lordship some time where is the order in original you don't have the brief also no not the brief all right are number 12 thank you get to my door But perhaps uh, may no, not need to the, trouble your lordship today, um, Lord. Uh, after the impugned order has been passed, not a third party interest has been created. So, Lord, uh, my prayer over here is leave to serve that third party, Lord. Lord, I'd rather have not served them and ask for Lord orders in their presence. Lord, I'll indicate to your lordship. Uh, normally, Lord, I wouldn't have Lord oppose such a prayer, but Lord, I am the State Bank of India. Now, Lord, my learned friend appears for the borrower. 
Now, my lord, I have assigned my loan to a third party. Now, my lord, so far as the State Bank of India is concerned, my lord, and my lord, he had come to restrain me from assigning the loan. The loan has been assigned. So, my lord, I don't know, my lord, how, my lord, the entire That's flock can now be sent I'm, back. I'm only seeking to add the assignee as a party. So, my lord, it's become, my lord, it completely happened, infructuous. But, uh, it has happened after the impute order. Correct. But why did you file a writ petition against that? You could have gone before the DRT. No, couldn't have. But that can happen only if there is a 13-2 notice or a 13-4 notice. This after. is no 13-4 notice. Asset reconstruction. Yes, company. yes. It's a purported transfer. They first issued 13-4 notice, then they withdrew it. That would have been my chance to challenge. They withdrew it and then they sought to transfer, file the writ. We had an interim order. There was a defect in it. It was withdrawn from not withdrawn with liberty to file afresh. But without waiting for me to file that afresh, next day, my lord. They take out the notice and they say that it will be sold on the next day. By the time it is moved, blood, and on the next day, blood after the order, they have not transferred it. Now, what has the asset re re reconstruction company done? But so far, it's not. I will want to not uh, challenge this transfer itself. You are for the asset reconstruction. I mean for the asset reconstruction. Company. He is here. Very well. Not no, Malad, Malad purchase the debt. Malad, that is Malad, permissible Malad, in terms of Malad, knows Malad, under the. But is that. Uh, I don't know how Malad, Malad, justiciable. Yes. Yes. Malad, 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 I'll, I'll, may I just indicate one Malad, thing? Just in sale, Malad, you have got, got no say in the matter. Malad, only one. Shah has got no say. Malad, in fact, that's now he is out. Mr. Shah's say to me was the issue. So Mr. So that Energy is gone. will know the argument. I have no say also because the challenge was to the sale. No, Malad, the sale has already happened. The Lord Chief has seen this now. Malad. Malad, may I have no right to challenge anyway. Malad, my <laughs> learned friend owed to me, my lord, a small sum of 420 crore. But I've, I've never heard of this. Not I can't I can't go challenge it before DRT. I can't challenge it. No, no, before I'm, the I'm court. not. I'm not saying I'm that. No remedy. Malad, I'm this not saying he can't challenge. I, I, and my lord, I approached the court in time. Now he says, look, I've transferred it. So my lord, you can't challenge it and you can't file an appeal. Malad, but I've I, never heard of this. Malad, may I, may I, my lord, just indicate this. My lord, my learned friend has an admitted debt of 420 crores to me. I am the State Bank of India. I went, my lord, one and a half years ago, and my lord, I filed a Section Seven proceeding against him in the debt in the NCLT. NCL. Now, my lord, he kept on saying that I'll pay, I'll enter into settlement, my lord. One and a half, my lord, years, my lord, he kept me at bay with my lord promises of settlement. Ultimately, my lord, being fed up, I decided, my lord, to my lord hive off this loan to somebody else. I'm not selling the assets of the company, my lord. This is the distinguishing feature. Right. My lord, I can sell, my lord, the secured assets, the assets which have been, my lord, mortgaged to me. Only, my lord, by following the due process of law, either under the Surface E Act or by going to the Debt Recovery Tribunal or, my lord, through the NCLT process. So, my lord, an impression was sought to be created that, my lord, I am selling off, my lord, the properties of the company without resorting to, my lord, the established, my lord, Procedure laid down by law. No, no, it's not. Now, Malad, I'll just tell you, Lordship. Malad, what I'm doing is. Company. That's not the Malad, case. The, yes. So, Malad, Absolutely. what I, I'm doing is. I was under the impression that the writ petition was dismissed. No. The no, the writ petition is alive. Kept, kept alive. That's right. There's the no writ petition is kept alive. There's no interim order. No, and what is the reason the interim order was vacated? No, it is on the basis that there is. You knew that this was going to happen. No, Malad, I'll just indicate. You withdrew you. the writ petition. You delayed in the meantime. The action has happened. So, no interim order. No, Malad, I'll, I'll no, no, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This, is, this is the basis. Page 242, volume 2. Court was mentioned today morning, non mentioning day. Ground given calling for into urgency shown in the core agenda. Learned counsel, State Bank, impugned submissive. Impugned corrigin relates to corrigin dated deals with the proposed action of SBA to conduct stress to exposure, loan exposure. They wanted to withdraw the report. On twenty first March. Hey, Dr. Nantu, you you've been served. You have a copy. No, you want to be served. No, let me dismissed. I want to be dismissed. Today, okay, fine. So then let let's then without service. Mm-hmm. 
give me the orders of the of motion. আমি <laughs> Mm. But in the earlier red petition, yes, ma'am. you had a benefit of an interim order. Yes, ma'am. And wh- what was uh, the interim order granted in that? But, but that sale, but they had issued a sale notice that was stayed. Stayed. That was stayed. Why you withdrew that red petition? But there was a technical defect in there. There was not the legal point which ought to have been All taken right. was so not. So the there. present red petition, what is the difference between the prayer in the earlier one but what has been challenged over here is not i understand the difference i was not there not either in the earlier one on this but i i understand that the difference is not the challenge to not it becoming a non performing asset that is what has gone into but the lordship knows it can be declared npa only under not certain conditions in fact recent decision of supreme court is also there on that issue that uh, what are uh, the aspects to be gone into i said i didn't see the judgment i saw it in some live law or something there is a lot of judgments covering the lot npa <laughs> yes <but> I... <laughs> whole malad and then they said... can form a small book out of it but milad uh, but if i may suggest this but i understand mr banerjee no, not be so no, what yes. will happen to the red petition it will become infructuous malad i just it, 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 it is malad for all practical purposes infructuous my learned friend malad requested malad the learned single judge to keep it li- keep it alive he said malad there are other points that he wants to argue so it was kept alive at his instance now malad if your lordship so will just this, what this corrigendum by this corrigendum malad, I, is uh, stressed asset or what has been transferred to mr banerjee's client and he, you are going to sell it No, Malad, I received it now. Malad, I will take a lot of steps on that basis copy. because Malad, under the Reserve Bank of India guidelines, Malad, no stressed asset. The primary Malad, the uh, lender Malad can sell it and it's been sold and Malad, the asset reconstruction yeah. company Malad, terms of Malad. No, this transfer is subject matter of the red petition. Correct. The sale was challenged. Malad, I'll just, if your Lordship, give, give me Malad one moment's time. Malad, will your Lordship just consider this? I thought it was this? my red petition, Very but well. everyone is having their Very sale. No, he, he said he didn't want to move it. he doesn't want to no, i got all no 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 all right you you serve it on um, yes, I'll, serve it. i'll serve my learned friend right. if he doesn't want to be served i'll move it today it's simple as that not da but uh, no no he needs to be heard that's what i thought but he says he doesn't he doesn't but need I, to be and he says well i only under, well, if the subject matter but, of the red petition well, was the sale notice well, now the sale well, having been done no, well, he, he, of, he says he has brought the, some corrigendum on record no no but it is i'll tell you lot sir I don't know. Malad, the corrigendum that he bought on record, Malad, te- Malad, I, Malad, advertised as I am required to do under the law Correct. for Malad assignment of these assets. Correct. This is Malad in accordance with the Banking Regulation Act. I can hive off my assets. I am not touching the borrowers. It's just Malad. I have an exposure of Malad 420 crores. I put it in the market. An asset reconstruction company comes and purchases it upon a due auction. When I took out that auction, Malad, on the 6th of February, uh, on the 6th of March. on that day malad in our court we had a uh, we had a cease work now on that day malad my learned friends went and told the learned single judge malad i'll show you a lordship the 6th march order they are selling my assets his assets are not not one single malad nut or bolt of his company is being sold i'm just malad selling my exposure your assets i'm selling my assets sbi is selling its assets not malad the the malad uh, sh- uh, the shed and equipment and plant of the borrower company we follow, we follow. now malad no one appeared on our behalf my lord the learned judge records that since it is going to be sold today i am staying everything mm. they allowed the stay to continue for some time thereafter they went and said my lord on 21st march there's some mistake we'll withdraw my lord there was no mistake the first writ petition my lord and i'll disclose all this my lord if if required if i'm not able to persuade your lordship to dismiss it here and now my lord the 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 first writ petition was on the ground that look here i have offered one settlement please ask them to consider what is this they don't want to consider my settlement that was the only ground in the first writ petition thereafter millard on 21st march in the 21st march order 221 millard at page 221 volume 2 your lordship will find millard the 21st march order 
where they go and say there's a mistake. I want to withdraw the writ petition. So my lord, they obtain an interim order. They frustrate my entire sale. Oh. They frustrate my entire sale. Lord, uh, the Lord, period for the Lord, sale is over. Feel, in that case, Lord, let me let me proceed. And my Lord, Lord, since I've started, my Lord, oh, give, indulge me for one minute. Was, please. What is the corrigendum which you want? The corrigendum is because my Lord, the first sale went. Now, 21st March, my Lord, they withdrew their writ petition. Interim order got vacated. So I or issued a corrigendum for the respect of the but same then, thing. Yes. And my Lord, just one, one further thing. My Lord, this assignment of mine, which I made. Oh, this assignment, uh, the the corrigendum has worked itself out and the, same thing yes, and it has been transferred to yes. the asset reconstruction. Same yes. thing. Malad, yes. Only one yes. only one further yes. thing. Malad, this is yes. very important. And Malad, this is recorded in the impugned order. Malad, when I was pursuing my section 7 application before the NCLT, they came and filed an application. In that application, they said, look, State Bank of India has taken out a notice that it wants to sell off its, its exposure. So if State Bank wants to sell off its exposure, dismiss the Section 7 application because State Bank is no longer interested. So, my lord, they want to, my lord, have the cake and eat it too. So, my lord, before the NCLT, they rely upon this, 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 this notice of sale and, the, and they rely upon this notice of sale to say that since they've taken out a notice of sale, dismiss the Section 7. They are no longer interested. They now want to sell. And here they come and say... You serve notice. Very good. I will. But please keep it on order. Monday, I will be praying for entry order. Monday. Monday, not. I'll be praying for entry order. Can it be Tuesday? Can it be Tuesday? Can it be Tuesday? I take it you will not transfer. No, it's already a date of assignment has been registered. No, no, assignment that you will not further transfer. No, you will. You you will not further transfer. Should he not amend the prayer and the writ petition, or by way of a supplementary effort? As of now, but, the cause of action for filing the writ petition was the first notice. That writ petition was withdrawn. Then the second writ petition was filed. By then they had issued a corrigendum, probably fixing the date of sale to a later date. That. Now th that corrigendum has worked itself out. I, I followed. I followed. I followed. And I, you, at least you have to tweak your. But I, I'll consider that if required. But I think may not be necessary. I'll just indicate why. But my learned friend, but acts like, but he is born with a God-given right to not transfer a asset one like word, that. Not one word on merits, my lord. Not one word as to how, yes, sir, how he I was. I did not transfer. How, not, I did not interrupt my friend more. once. Not my learned friend has a loud voice. He will now not reserve it for 30 seconds. He will switch off the microphone. Uh, Milad, that's what I will do. And thereafter, Milad, I will drag him away. Now, Milad, the point over here is this. Milad, a bank cannot transfer an asset just like that. It can't. Because Milad, a bank, Milad, Milad, a bank relationship is a mutual relationship. He has my securities. He gives me loan. I operate a business. If he gives it to a Milad, asset reconstruction company, my operation comes to a halt. Because there is no bank account. Today, my lord, I'm left without a bank account. I'm an industry. It's a mini steel plant which is running. There is no God-given right not to transfer. It is a transfer based only on certain conditions. Now, my learned friend tried to declare me an NPA. He withdrew the notice, knowing I'm not an NPA. Now, once you know that, you have also filed proceedings before the NCLT. Now, my learned friend says, I want it both ways. He has proceeded in two forums. He has proceeded in two forums. It's not that his NCLT proceeding is gone. It is very much alive. My saying so did not end his proceeding. He wants to proceed in two forums. Now he knows in this forum I can't challenge because he withdraws his 13 for notice. Now where do I challenge Milord, this so-called declaration of NPA? Because under the RBI guidelines, not NPA will happen only on happening of A, B, C, D, E, F. But you have not been declared as an NPA. He did. He issued that notice. He will now, do under under Milad, the under the Act, the only place where I can go and challenge it, and your Lordship knows Mardi and other judgments, is after 13 for notice. Moment I am going to go That's challenge true. that declaration of NPA, he withdraws it. And he says, I transfer it to Arsid. Now, where will I get the chance to challenge this declaration of NPA or whatever? The transfer can be only once he is able to sustain his finding that I am 
a kind of asset which is now in default which can be transferred this is the only issue before your lord tuesday i'm obliged to heard so and so the learned advocate appearing for the but i understand uh, tuesday your lordship doesn't pick up these matters sensitive pardon your lordship oh wednesday a learned counsel appearing for the appellant is uh, granted Bajabal. leave to serve uh, notice on Maybe. the learned advocate appearing for the asset reconstruction company you have to add them as a party i am not that's the prayer I, that's the prayer that's prayer b let them serve mola then mola will come and mola will come back on 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 west that's why not, without mula serving mula. i did not want Wait. to not waste your lordship time not wednesday i'll come and ask for relief whole lot but one request mula. only mula. one request only i was praying for monday is difficult for my learned friend a oral assurance that they will not make a further transfer they can't that's all all that they can do is to issue a 132 no they can no, transfer no, it further to someone else so Look, one more like... party you can serve <laughs> I, I, and I, all I, the more you are not I, declared I, as an npa shahab as a color only complicates so complicate so i understand no, 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 we heard mr i understand say that the object of the petitioner coming to the court was initially that you offered a settlement they didn't accept or you offered an ots proposal that, that appears to but well, that is not but well, i that I, should I, be an interest i i won't comment on that because not I, i i haven't seen the first read petition i'll i'll, I'll have looked at you can't say that i don't have an intention to repay you need to repay of course of course blood of course blood that is the difference just, of course blood, we, i, I we, just indicate we heard for blood two years blood now ultimately blood we let just now, transfer blood without arguing the matter i will come back on wednesday wednesday little food for thought a little food for thought when i'm dealing with the bank blood i can enter into a settlement with a bank saying please reconstruct the loan give me this or take a one time settlement one can't do it We with can, the asset reconstruction we can do something we can pass orders here also provided that uh, offer or whatever it is is bona fide he says that the borrower has been dragging them for 2 years and there is nothing but he says that now should i tell your lordship not your lordship is away lordship will hear it on well there's no point in peace mill here lordship can start it it off if he started it off he is willing to offer You you have transferred it because you are not able to face the music. Malad, the, there's no, much no, water has flowed. Malad, now no, I don't think that's to put in money. All uh, all of you, both of you want this money. That's it. At the end of the day, whether he receives it or you receive. Malad, this will... this Malad this Malad story about settlement is Malad in the Malad your lordship now dealing with, with computers knows the but, cloud. No no, it's in right. the cloud. it's in the cloud it's in the but cloud you are not able to do anything that's why right. you are incapacity you transfer it to him lordship hmm. but my lord i'll i'll my lord indicate my lord capacity it's not in my lord my lord friend is challenging a sale he has to my lord after all come and tell your ground what yeah. the what the grounds for challenging the sale is don't 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 chalo we'll hear great lordship great <laughs> कंपनी can upload we this the most people located the telecast or telecast right judgment please judgment is important थर्टीन 
May I please read, sir? I'm for the respondents, sir. This is the matter under the Customs Act, where provisions of Customs Act Section 27 and 27A, that is the ref interest on late refunds, is involved, my lord. What happened in this case, my lord? You have challenged the constitutional validity. No, 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 my lord. Hmm. What, uh, what subject matter was this? That I got refunds. I uh, after on the basis of an appellate commissioner's order, after I filed an application for refund, it was for implementation of the order passed by the commissioner appeal. But uh, they preferred an appeal to the tribunal. They waited their chance, and thereafter it was dismissed. Then they started processing my application for refund after 335 days, etc. And when they started this application, then they issued certain ministerial queries, my lord, which I answered within two, three days as I was required to answer any ministerial query which is being done. And when it was done, they refunded the money without any interest, whereas under section 27A, interest is payable after 90 days of making of an application. Statute is straight making of an application. 90 days period is the period which is provided under the act for the purpose of disposal of an application method. So now when I applied it for this, they've granted refund without interest. I moved the record that no interest has been granted to me when it was mandatory under 27A, one, number two, that in this was a matter where the refund was arising out of an appellate proceeding. So the order of commissioner appeal was an order of the adjudication under section 27 for refund by deeming provisions annexed to 27A explanation. So the proceeding before the proper officer who was to disburse refund to me was an executory proceeding where he was not to do anything. Now, what happened was this when the refund, I filed the writ, they took one stand that this 90 days period under 27A is flexible. It is contrary to the statute. One, number two, it depends on queries which they can raise or it can depend on the deficiency which they can raise. And if that deficiency is raised and I answer it at later stage that in that case, liability of time to run and pay for interest statutory period under 27A will shift, will move to this, to the date where when I will answer the query and 90 days from that period, it will start. This was the argument and case which is made by my learned friend. Uh, to the On the contrary, case was this, if an application is defective, in that case, there is a statutory provision for refund regulations which says that within 10 days time you examine the refund application if it is defective return the same and in case it is so returned and resubmitted in that case interest will run after resubmission date Resubmission is the date which I say filing of an application. My lord, so, see the please, please, order. Please, yes, right, right. I will. Order is very I'll, detailed. Yes, yes. I will. I will and go. Has been we will go into it and one way. Let my lord friend take seat, my lord. Because when he stands, it creates pressure on me. Sit, sit. Please take your seat. So, so, so my lord, uh, my lord, I have uh, prepared one comparison with statutes and this for. My Lord, for easy reference, so that I don't need to go to the books, etc. My Lord, uh, page one is my Lord, uh, section 27. Yes, my Lord. A, a, a 20, any person claiming refund of any duty or interest paid by him or borne by him may make an application in such form and manner as may be prescribed for such refund to the assistant commissioner or deputy commissioner before the expiry of one year from the date of payment of such duty, etc. So I am required to make an application in the prescribed form as provided in the statute, my lord. Then my lord, we kindly come to section 27A. It is at page four. Page four. Before that, my lord, uh, may I come to section 27.2, my lord? 
Page. Well, the uh, page two of my this compilation, my lord. I start from provided. Yeah. Not this. Provided that. Is that why I was saying, my lord, this has uh, for, exactly in this manner, in a detailed manner, been given in the impugned order. You will admit it, grant interim stay. No matter. Hello, my lord. My lord. Uh, yes. Uh, my lord, this says the provided that. The page two. The amount of duty and interest. When I provided that amount of duty interest, if any, paid on such duty as determined by the assistant commissioner of custom or deputy commissioner of customs under the foregoing provision, this section shall, instead of being credited to the fund to be paid to the applicant, if the amount is relatable to these conditions. So this was relatable to me to be paid and this was paid to me and it was found due and payable by me. Now, my lord, we kindly see come to page 4, 27A. That is the where the point in disputes are. 27A, but interest on delayed refund. Yes. If any duty ordered to be refunded under subsection 2 of section 27 to an application is not refunded within three months from the date of receipt of application. But these are the words, my lord, here. These are fixed words. From the date of receipt of the application under subsection 1 of that section, there shall be paid to the applicant interest at such rate not below 5% and not exceeding 30% per annum as is for the time being fixed by the central government by notification in the official gazette on such duty from the date immediate after expiry of three months from the date of receipt of such application till the date of refund of duty. But here I am again just putting an emphasis on this that 27A says clearly from three months from the date of receipt of application. Now, my lord, we kindly see explanation upon the at the bottom. Where any order of refund is made by the commissioner appeal, appellate tribunal, national appellate tribunal, or any court against the order of assistant commissioner of customs or deputy commissioner custom on subsection 2 of section 27, the order passed by the commissioner appeal, appellate tribunal, or as the case may be by the court shall be not here deemed to be an order passed under subsection of passed. Uh, pass under that subsection for the purpose of this section, my lord. So, 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 my lord, uh, here in my case, what is the importance of this deeming provision is this when a refund order is passed by an appellate authority, in that case, the proper officer is no longer to act as an adjudicating authority, he is becomes an executing authority and he is to execute the order and grant me refund. His uh, scrutiny paraphernalia could be maximum would be the um, you, amount of money payable, photocopies legible, etc. Nothing more than that, my lord. So, so this was the only action which was uh, open to the authorities, my lord. Well, uh, uh, section uh, page 5 is pari materia of its customs act. Since judgment of there, I am not troubling your lordship right now. Please, please. My lord, you kindly come to page 8. Page 8. This is... No, that is... Uh... Uh, Central Excess Act is 11 BB. 11 BB is identically same. Is I, I have enclosed it because judgment refers to 11 BB to show that they are identically same. As otherwise, it has no relevancy. Um, Manod, the, uh, page 8, Manod, you can see. But this is the custom refund application form regulation. Hmm. Regulation 2. But the application for refund shall be made in the prescribed form appended to these regulations in duplicate to the assistant commissioner of customs having jurisdiction over the customs port, customs airport and land custom stations or warehouse where the duty of custom has been paid. The application shall be scrutinized for its completeness by the proper officer 
and if the application is found to be complete in all respect the application shall applicant shall be issued an acknowledgement by proper officer in the prescribed form appended to this is within 10 working days of the receipt of the application then number 3 where on scrutiny however the application is found to be incomplete the proper officer shall within 10 working days of its receipt return the applicant to uh, return the application to the applicant pointing out the deficiencies applicant may resubmit the application after making good the deficiency for scrutiny well, what here it says if it is defective it is to be returned hmm. then when it is returned then there is no application pending it goes the, then malot the explanation explanation what is being put into this for the purpose of payment of interest under section 27a of the act application shall be deemed to have been received on the date on which a complete application as acknowledged by the proper officer has been made. This is that expression which only a clarificatory, my lord, is in this sense that when I resubmit, then this is the date, nothing more. It doesn't. So, so you can't rely upon, rely the upon my, my first application goes. So, from second application will be my first application. First date goes. Yes, date, yes. In, in, in what happens in this case, my lord, I filed an application no deficiency memo is given ever nothing is being given ever then then the matter they contest they try their luck in the appeal court appellate tribunal they lose and they start the matter refund when they start the refund there were 16 applications with with eight they issue me a ministerial queries my lord i have to answer the ministerial queries that uh, give me some explanation, give me some declarations. That, 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 you will that not... can also be construed as a defect. It, but the, what what I am saying, what this ministerial proceeding, if it is being given in the 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 the, the no, this notification says refund is to be done or deficiency is to be given with return of the application. So I, the law, when the law prescribes a method of doing thing, it is to be done in that manner. So when the law says if there is a deficiency, return the application so that we start with a new date. If it is not being returned, then it is simply a query. Simply a query will not be shifting the date which is prescribed under 27A. 27A is the date which says from the date of receipt. So unless you move that date of receipt from place A to place C, you are bound by place A. That shifting can be possible if there is a deficiency, return the application and return for returning 10 days time has been given. So when it is being not done, well, statute cannot be interpreted so as to defeat the purpose of the entire purpose of the act. The purpose of the act is what the Supreme Court has dealt with in this, that 90 days period becomes operative from the receipt. This is the date. If you have received whatever deficiency you clear it out within 90 days period one number two when the refund is coming out from the order passed by the commission appeal then the deeming provision also becomes applicable and in that case what whenever you pay deeming by deeming provisions interest has to be paid from 90 days that's what supreme court has said in ran matter other judgments were there which says on the same point following ran the lanet just Run back to I think earlier, just DK Jing. Yes, my lord, my lord, my lord, my lord. This is in the compilation. And uh, another judgment. A Bombay High Court number of. No, no, Supreme Court, some Asia. Yes, my lord, yes. This is A.R. Lakshman and Vasti. My lord, though. Sandwich Asia, yes. You have given. Yeah, yeah, yes, my lord. My lord, my lord. What are your facts? My, 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 my facts are this. My facts are not in dispute. My facts, my lord, we kindly see that. Uh, 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 Uploaded. Super. My lord, in my paper book, paragraph 21 at page 34. Volume 1. Volume 1.
petitioner filed 16 the applicant may I place it paragraph 21 ah, page the, the petitioner filed about 16 refund applications out of which it re received deficiency memo in respect of eight applications which were answered by the petitioner quickly the petitioner's refund application were duly received on the date it were filed petitioner's refund application were duly received on the date it were filed the details of the application and date of the deficiency memo and response by the petitioner are set out in chart mark p8 now manudri kindly see p8 it is at page is in volume two. If you want to kindly see page 185. No, page 187, my lord, second volume, one page 187. Yes. I got that page one eighty seven, volume two. Well, the uh, this is the uh, uh, in respect of only the out of sixteen, there were queries in respect of eight only, and uh, I have mentioned the date eight, and the date of uh, uh, filing of my applications are in the column refund application filing date. Malara got that? This is the third column. So the dates on which you have replied to the deficiency memo. But the is deficiency it... memo is nine, 19 and deficiency memo and the reply is on 19th March after ah, five so days. That should be the date on which your application is deemed to be valid. Malara, my, my point is this, that the refund application is filed on 6 June 2018. <laughs> Yes. So, so this is the date of filing of the refund application. After the filing of refund application, if it, it has never been returned, it has never been returned. No, but uh, the proceedings were pending. No, no, no proceedings were pending. On what date the yeah. tribunal dismissed it at uh, appeal? No, 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 that, 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 that certain they, they, they withdrew it something and something when they do not pay the money, etc. So they... No, no. Yes. <clears throat> in terms of the explanation you read. Yes, sir. The It is deemed that. That is the last order. Yes, sir. So assuming they come to this court and the court dismisses the appeal. That will be the date. So they will have to process the application for refund. Even assuming you made, made it in 19... Uh, so I mean, as soon as the order in original was passed or something uh, or the appellate order was passed. So it is deemed that that will be the date. And they have to process that application within three months. The three months will start running from the date on which the last forum. Last forum of what in the affidavit opposition point they have they have defended this point and said that no, we were not withholding because of the pendency of um, our appellate proceedings. Mm. They in their affidavit opposition they denied it that. We never waited for this because my Lord, for the purpose of refunds, the board has circulated that don't withhold the stay uh, refunds on the ground that your matter is pending in the tribunal. Pay that money uh, so that the interest starts running in terms of the board circulars after the, uh, the 90 days from the date of application. So don't either take a stay from the tribunal that the circular which is I have annexed here and that is also the part of the judgment Supreme Court and if you so if you don't get a stay within the period of 90 days then pay off the money so that interest levy does not accrue. So what the in the affidavit position they say no we did not withhold it for the purpose of waiting for our order. They say we just woke up after a year or so and, and, and what they have done after this, even you can see the page 187, if I read it again. By one order, appeal number, filing date 6 June, receipt is 9 on this date. Deficiency memo is given on 14th March 2019. I answered it 19 and thereafter payment is made much later at date 
and uh, page, page 185 is the date when they have made the payment plan. Date of refund 25-4-2019. Uh, so my, uh, this is the date of refunds mm. after this. So my the point is this, that yeah. the purport of the act under section 27A mm. is refund which is to be granted within 90 days of making of an application mm. and if it is not done in that case they will be liable to pay interest under section 27a 27a does not provide any machinery or mechanism for postponement and or or shifting of that date from liability to interest on the basis of whatever chance they take from appeal, et cetera, et cetera, whatever. But when we file the bill of entry mm. and it is not being assessed for whatever reason, we are required to pay interest after it is being registered. And if, even if you don't get registered after 15 days, interest uh, this issue you should yes. have raised even prior to replying to the deficiency memo. This, Once deficiency yeah. memo is issued, yes. statute operates and it yes. is deemed that that three months period should be calculated from the date on which the deficiency is cured. The, 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 no, from that, sir, what is, I, I have started demanding my money and on that base, but they do not grieve and they issue a deficiency memo. Now, what is the effect of the deficiency memo? Now, my Lord has to decide hmm. the, whether those deficiency memo which we say, hmm. I say to be a queries, if it is raised. According to you, it's ministerial query. Is the ministry, if I raise, that, will it be a stopple on my part from a statute under section 27A? Will it shift that date or etc. 93 months from the no. date of application will be shifted? It is deemed that your application was defective. It, it, it is uh, that, that, that deeming provision, if it is deemed. In that case, what happens is this, my application is to be returned. If my application is returned under the regulations, in that case, but your application was not returned. But never returned. Was never. My Lord, we can't but see. along with the deficiency memo, oh, yes. they would have returned it. No, no, deficiency memo does not say returned. In my Lord, we can't see affidavit in opposition of their. No, no. Where is the deficiency memo? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, but this is not returned. Deficiency. You show the deficiency memo. Yes, memo. I'm, I'm coming to that. If my Lord, we kindly. Uh, I come to the affidavit in opposition, my lord, at, uh, at page 213, paragraph 10. This is in respect to the paragraph 21, which I read. Yes. With reference to the statement and allegations made in paragraph 21, I deny that all allegations which are contrary thereto or inconsistent therewith is stated that all the required documents were not submitted along with refund application by the importer it petitioner refund of duty could not be made within stipulated time. However, on receipt of all relevant documents, refund of duty was promptly made. Since the fault lies with importers themselves, delay in filing all required document is attributable to the importer, etc. There is no question of entertaining refund, etc. I'm um, coming back to the paragraph 10. Well, stipulated time is there running, which they know. That is what they run. No, it is not being returned ever. So it is not a case where they say that we have returned your office uh, this. And my Lord, uh, if they file their uh, nature of the queries with deficiency, that is only at page 228. My Lord, you kindly see page 228. That is the nature of deficiency are being uh, mentioned in this page by them when it was moved, my Lord, in answer to this. In So far, item number one is concerned. They say documents submitted are Bill of entry, revised sewage certificate. Page number 228. 228. Huh. First, for the, for the first document submitted, bill of entry, importer's copy, revised CA, etc. This is the draft, though documents, which is in the mild application form, no dispute. 
he feel uh, if my learned friend wants an additional copy or some queries i am always i have to give it but i can't run away from a ministerial proceeding also if he says give me a clear copy i have to give him a clear copy man would kindly see this page 2 i see the number 2 see a certificate submitted he says submit additional certificate i submit it it is not a document which is statutory required which will make it defective if my application a document which makes my application defective it has to be returned the law cannot be used for defeating a procedure or interpretation to defeat the entire structure of law may not may not kindly take a situation if my in interest is delayed for 10 years and after that they say give me a copy of the order i have not i submit a order order and they say it is a deficiency memo you will be given after 10 years without interest you have answered to deficiency memo no what what is the learned judge held learned judge says deficit with the answer of deficiency memo is a stopple is running against me this is stopple against statute and i have given therefore that will be the relevant date so within 90 days yeah this is what the judgment is that is what the country to supreme court now man would you kindly see the supreme court what it says in my compliance but your point hinges on your application has not been returned not returned that is the case but uh, the moment uh, there is a memo issue deficiency memo or whatever uh, query raised uh, query query yes. query raised it is deemed that the application is defective but, but what uh, that quote or not in full form we will not say it is not, not in full form not in full form. So, so whether something to defeat the law can be done whether something to defeat the law can be allowed to exist if this is they will attempt all that to do but, but when the pay, when person is liable to department is liable to pay interest but when so your case but, but what i am submitting un, unless and until the application is returned huh? which is not but either it is returned or it has to be rejected there are only two things which can be done the uh, statute says 10 days but not this 10 days are have a meaning 90 days for disposal of the matter after an year i start what does it convey my lord if i ask to myself what does it convey i, I statute says you dispose of within 9 days you are not liable to pay any interest free interest free period interest free period they were sitting silently now they wake up after an year and so after by so many letters that there is a interest liability running against you <laughs> then they what they do to somehow twist the situation they issue me some kind of letters and i answer it and they say you go home but this kind of magic i will say this is a magic which can be shown in a theater this cannot be done really in this court of law where you can twist the law in such a beautiful manner say a query give me certified copy i have to give i certified copy this is deficiency etc or i for the certified copy i come to high court that my lord they are asking certified copy after 10 years but my court has to deal with an extreme situation also my lord still have to decide whether the department can twist the law to defeat the very purpose of the statute under 27a and when they are getting benefited my lord i paid interest duty in 20 1.115 crore in 2018 17 it was refunded to me after 4 years without paying any interest uh, i have been, so till the time we contest we are not asking something but we are getting only few things etc which are given only when we succeed on our point and we stick on our point we will continue mm. yes my lord mm. Well, one thing which I remember is this: when something is paid to person without consideration, it is realized from somebody without consideration. When they distribute all these things free, they realize something without consideration. Then only balance comes. See, yeah, any claim for refund, they will always try to block it because. Uh, well, but this but no, my lord, not to, in this case. Not, not in this, this case. There was no reason for blockage. If I come with the facts, my lord will, yes. my lord will understand. There have been instances in this case where false CS certificates have been given. This is, but not thereafter, in the application. Yes. Thereafter, pursuant to deficiency memo, those but certificates the, have been changed. His case hinges upon the fact that you have not returned his application. No, his case will hinge upon whether he had at the outset given a proper application or not. Because, my lord, when one.
Twitter. This is that is a keyboard. We have heard Mr. Sudhir Mehta, learned ad advocate for the appellant, and Mr. Vipul Kondalia, and a senior standing counsel with Tapan Banja. For continuation, list on Wednesday. Monday. 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 My Wednesday will be good. Wednesday. Wednesday. As your Lord. As your Lord. <laughs>